rivalry. It's the real deal. It's Yankees, Red Sox again. New York, you cannot say enough good things about Stanton, Boston. Devers hammers this one to right, looks at it, and the bats flip. Give us the rivalry. Sunday night baseball, Yankees, Red Sox. Sunday at 7 Eastern on ESPN. Presented by Casamigos Tequila. Coming up Thursday, the Nuggets finally won the championship. I'll tell you which downtrodden franchise will be the next one to finally lift the trophy. Keyshawn J. Willemax, 6 a.m. Eastern, right here on ESPN Radio. Thursday on Canty and Carlin, Zion, Bradley Beal. Who's the first domino to fall in the NBA offseason? Plus, with Belichick's long-term future in question, it got us to thinking, who in sports has earned the right to go out on their own terms? Thursday, Canty and Carlin, 3 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Center all night. Yankees and Mets add another chapter to the Subway Series. Baseline. Here he comes. Steal it hard and he will do it. Isaiah kind of left or ran around the bases. And the Yankees got a 3 1 lead. Plus the rest of Wednesday's action on the diamond. Marcus swings, hits a high fly ball down the left field line. Looking towards the pole. That ball is off the pole. But NBA superstars could already be on the move. I don't know exactly what the right thing to say is about Zion. He's unavailable far too often. At some point, you have to look at that and say, the ends are not justifying the means. And we get you ready for the U.S. Open in Hollywood. Uh, I think it's got a chance to be one of the better U.S. Opens in recent memory just because it has been one of the most exclusive clubs in the country. This is Sports Center All Night. Are you trying to bring some back? I know you, Kyle. You're just trying to stir up. Sports Center all night. ESPN Radio, the ESPN app, Sirius XM, Channel 80. I'm Jay Reynolds. Baseball's longest active win streak and a stadium funding package to relocate. That's what Oakland was holding on to Wednesday. First, they cleared a major hurdle when the legislature in Nevada gave its final approval to $380 million worth of public funding as part of the proposed $1.5 billion stadium project. The $380 million funding package, not a unanimous vote, but it does pass and it's now headed to the governor's desk. Back in Oakland, the city's mayor saying the legislature in California has passed three pieces of legislation to support construction of a new A's ballpark. She says, quote, the A's have been part of Oakland for more than a half century. They belong in this city. There's no city that's worked harder to meet the needs of a team than Oakland. Oakland on the brink of losing its team. Its team has done its share of losing on the field this season, but the Hayes heading into Wednesday with the longest active win streak in baseball, seven straight. A's hosting the Rays and Oakland starting quickly in the second. Diaz and Bride take their leads. As Glass now checks second. Now the right-hander to the plate. The 1-0 pitch. That swung on a drive to right center. Well, going back is low. Looks up, and it is gone. A three-run over from the day, and it's 3-1 Athletics. Athletics have the lead, but the Rays would rally, and by the fifth, the pitch. Swing and a hard-hit ball toward the middle. It'll sneak into center field for a base hit. Scoring from third, Yandy Diaz. The Rays have their second lead of the night at 4-3. to 6-20 WDAE. Rays extend the lead to 6-3. And by the end... In the pitch. That's one on and popped up. Going out the third baseman Paredes. He's under it, and he makes the catch. And the A's have their seven-game winning streak snapped as the Rays win this ball game by a final score of 6-3. Rays have gone in with back-to-back -back losses. They are now 7-0 this season when entering a game on a two-game losing streak. A's seven-game win streak comes to an end with the 6-3 loss in Oakland. In New York, 
Subway Series, Mets, Yankees, Justin Verlander, Garrett Cole, former teammates in Houston, facing each other for just the second time in their career. The other coming back in 2015. Both go six innings. Garrett Cole, six innings of four hit ball, eight strikeouts. Verlander, six innings of three hit ball. He had six strikeouts. Second straight start for him where he went at least six innings, allowing one earned run against the Yankees. So neither factors in the decision because in the seventh... Line drive, left field, base hit. Here comes Escobar. Vienzo stops at third. The throw coming home is offline. Nimmo got off second too much. Throw down to second base is in time. Nimmo is out trying to retreat to second. But the Mets have tied the game on the RBI single to left field by Starling Marte. WCBS. Mets tie it up. Brandon Nimmo getting caught too far off second base, though, so... We would go to the 10th, still tied 3-3, and now Nimmo at the plate. It's Escobar at second. The winning run with one out, the 0-1. Swing and a high drive, hit deep right field. Bowers back to the track at the wall. It is off the wall. Escobar racing around third, taking the turn. The cutoff throw from right center field is not in time. Escobar slides in safely. Nimmo at third base with a game-winning RBI triple. He is mob. It is the Mets over the Yankees in extra innings. 4-3 Mets in the Subway Series. 4-3, the final 11th regular season meeting between the Yankees and the Mets to go to extra innings. Mets have now won four of those 11 extra inning games against the Yankees. Fourth walk-off win against the Yankees in the 10th inning or later in the first such win since Pete Alonso hit that walk-off home run in the 10th inning in 2020. That happened to be the last time a Yankees-Mets game went two extra innings. Brandon Nimmo ends this one with the walk-off double, second career walk-off hit, and he knows he was atoning for his recent missteps. Yeah, the one the one last night for sure. The, the one last night for sure, I, um, yeah, I felt terrible. You know, I, I let the team down, and, uh, you know, I – I felt really, really bad about that. So um, I told the guys, you know, after when I was coming up in that situation, I was so glad that coming into that situation, I was going to get the opportunity to come through for the, for the boys. And um, baseball's funny like that. You know, it'll, it'll work like that sometimes where, um, you know, you can't get down on yourself and you got to um, come back the next day and, you know, um, you know, that old Ted Lasso thing, you got to be a goldfish and, uh, you know, you have to have a short term memory. And so, um, you know, was able to come through, uh, you know, for the boys. And I was really happy about that uh, because, you know, last night I felt like I let him down. But he comes through with the game winning double in the 10th inning of this one. And the Mets get the 4-3 win. Incidentally, the Mets got a defensive positioning violation during the game. Remember how they outlawed the shift? Mets becoming the second team to be given the violation this season. It was the first given for an infielder being on the wrong side of second base. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. Crazy finish to the Astros Nationals game in Houston. Washington rallies from down 4 1 in the ninth to tie it 4 4. Bottom of the ninth inning, Astros have the bases loaded and one out. 2 2. Ground ball off the hands to Abrams, goes home with it, gets the out there on the first, and it is dropped, it is dropped by Chavis. Abreu comes home, and Abreu scores to win it. Davey Martinez is going to say that Myers interfered with that throw at first base. And that's a judgment call that cannot be challenged. Michael Chavis couldn't hold on to the throw from the catcher, Ruiz, and the Astros walk it off 5-4. to four. ABME 790 AM, Astros winning on what goes down in the scorebook as a throwing error. But was it a throwing error? As you heard, Washington manager Davey Martinez was upset about the call, actually came to his postgame press conference with a photo snapshot showing Jake Myers running up the first baseline inside the baseline and not in the running lane. There it is, right there. Take a good look at it. Is that on the line? I don't think so. I'm over this play. Seriously, they need to fix the rule. If this is what the umpires see, that he's running down the line, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Fix it. We lost the game, and he had nothing to say about it because he can't make the right call. Brutal. Brutal. 
what was his explanation to you as no. you went out there? He said he, he saw him run down the line. So I said, we lost the game because you, you made the wrong call. I guess. For clarification, the snapshot that Martinez was holding was from before the throw from Ruiz, the catcher. The ball did not ricochet off Myers' helmet until he was actually on first base. Umpire's judgment, no interference with the ability to make the catch at first. Astros win it with the walk-off. 5-4 the final. Nationals back-to-back -back losses. They are now 1-8 in, in their last nine games. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. Steph is not here. Everybody else is here at the front time. How concerned are you about that? No, oh, very concerned. There's been a lot of speculation about Stephon Diggs being unhappy in Buffalo for weeks and maybe even months now. And all along, people have denied it. And Josh Allen said that they're working through some issues. So clearly, something is wrong in Buffalo. I think there's something else that's bothering Stephon Diggs that I feel like the Bills organization needs to address so they can move forward. It was last winter as the Bills were being eliminated in the postseason that Stephon Diggs was clearly unhappy on the sideline. Fast forward to June, and he was not on the field for the first of the mandatory mini camps on Tuesday with quarterback Josh Allen taking some of the blame. Coach Sean McDermott, as you heard, said Tuesday he was very concerned. Wednesday, McDermott not sounding quite as concerned. Let me be clear. Steph did everything that he was asked to do. He was here Monday and executed his physical on time. Steph reported yesterday, Tuesday. We just felt like we all needed a break and some space. I gave Steph permission to get some space. It was not Steph leaving unexcused. He was excused by me. We all want the same thing. We all want to win. So Tuesday, McDermott was very concerned. Wednesday, he was excused. Diggs was present, participated in individual drills during Wednesday's minicamp, did not participate in team drills. Quarterback Josh Allen. There were some some things that uh, could have gone better last year um, and didn't. Um, and just, you know, I think we're just, as a as an organization, maybe not communicating the right way with, with everything. So, again, just trying to talk and, and listen at the same time and hear him out and, and, like I said, just try to move this forward as as quickly and as respectfully as, you know, as possible. Josh Allen certainly wants to be on good terms with one of his key offensive weapons earlier on ESPN radio hour, Harry Douglas, who himself spent a decade in the NFL as a wide receiver. When Josh Allen was there without Stefan Diggs, he struggled. Now we knew he was going to probably be a good quarterback, but he struggled. But when Stefan Diggs came, he became better at the quarterback position. So I think it's only right for Ken Dorsey moving forward. Make sure your best player gets the football in certain moments. I played with two number one receivers, Julio Jones and Roddy White. It was never a question when certain moments came up in games or certain critical third downs, they were not getting the football. They were going to get it. And along with Tony Gonzalez, they were going to get the ball. Point blank, period. My receiver coach literally told me, why in the hell will I draw up a play for you? And I got Roddy White, Julio Jones, and Tony Gonzalez. It's that simple, Fitz. It's literally that simple. Fitz and Harry, weekdays, noon Eastern here on ESPN Radio. ESPN analyst Dan Orlovsky says we could probably just take a deep breath. We have to go back and understand this as well. That Last year was Ken Dorsey, their offensive coordinator's first year as a play caller. It was his first year calling games in the playoffs. Granny, go back to last season when you and I would talk about the Bills on Monday mornings. And everyone would sit there and, and I would say their offense is third and hope. It is really third down and hope Josh Allen makes something happen on third down. They were far too reliant on his special talent. So this is all a little bit of a growing process with who Stefan Diggs is in this offense under Ken Dorsey as their play caller. He's just a highly competitive player. I am not overly concerned about this. He will be playing for Buffalo and playing at an incredibly high level this season. And then as for Diggs' role in the offense earlier on ESPN Radio, or Chris Canty. This is one of those dudes where you need to have communication with his representation throughout the offseason, even though there is no contract to be discussed. Based on how things ended and based on what's going on now, there clearly was an issue. As an organization, you can't let one of your core players have that kind of frustration throughout the entirety of the offseason. You got to make sure you're in lockstep with this dude. If Stefan Diggs doesn't like his freaking role, 
then you talk to him and you show him why this role benefits the whole in terms of the team winning at the highest level. The other thing you got to do is make sure there's accountability throughout your locker room, and that includes your quarterback. Again, Diggs was present during Wednesday's mini camp for the individual drills as well. Could there be a big change looming in the NBA this offseason? That's next. Sports Center All Night continues at ESPN Radio. Coming up Thursday, the Heat have reached the NBA Finals twice in the last four seasons. But is the way they built their roster sustainable? Keyshawn, J. Will and Max, 6 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPNU. This is Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio. Want to save money this summer? Of course I do. Well, at Pilot Flying J, you can save 10 cents on every gallon of gas. Just text SAVE10 to 26494. Say that again. You can save 10 cents a gallon. No, that other part. Text SAVE10 to 26494? Yes. And all I have to do is text? You got it. Text SAVE10 to 26494 and save 10 cents a gallon all summer long at Pilot Flying J. Messaging and data rates apply. By texting, you can send Pilot Flying J auto marketing SMS. Consent not required for purchase. Limited time. Terms and conditions apply. Um, boss, are you in here? Right here. Where? Under that stack of documents. Uh, which stack of documents? Got a document storage problem? You need Gilmore. Gilmore specializes in document shredding, storing, and scanning, so you can help organize your office and streamline your workflow. Need secure storage for sensitive information? Gilmore can get it done. Visit GilmoreServices.com. That's GilmoreServices.com. Scan, shred, store with Gilmore. We just do more. El COVID a largo plazo puede afectar el corazón y los pulmones durante semanas, meses o años. Defiéndase con hechos. Hable hoy con su médico acerca de su salud mental, física y emocional en general. Hágase chequeos regulares además de las pruebas y vacunas de COVID. Obtenga más información en alabamaunites.com. Presentado por el Departamento de Salud Pública de Alabama. As you navigate life's big changes, like moving or expanding your family, it's important to ensure you have the right health insurance coverage. That's where Health Markets can help. A licensed insurance agent with Health Markets can help you with personalized guidance to find the right plan for your unique situation at no cost to you. With Affordable Care Act plans, sometimes called Obamacare, you can rest easy knowing that many screenings, pre-existing conditions, and preventative care are covered. Shop online or with a health markets agent to get started on the path to health insurance coverage. Learn more at healthmarkets.com. Don't let life changes catch you off guard. Trust health markets to find you coverage. That's healthmarkets.com. Health Markets Insurance Agency Incorporated is licensed as an insurance agency in all 50 states and the District of Columbia. Service and product availability varies. Agents may be compensated based on your enrollment. No obligation to enroll. Hey, Coach, you wanted to see me? Yeah, just wanted to let you know we're going with GEICO for next week's game. GEICO really delivers in the clutch with over 85 years of great claim service. GEICO as our starting point guard. Thanks, champ. Knew you'd understand. For the choice you can always rely on, go to GEICO.com. A toast to our new college grad who fills us with so much joy, almost as much as when we're in our RV. Oh, the world is your oyster, kiddo, and ours too. Now that we're covered with Progressive, Dad and I can hop in our RV anytime we want. Might even splurge on a retractable lawning. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Sorry, what was I talking about? Protect your loved one with an RV policy from Progressive. Take as little as four minutes to see what you could save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. At the Home Depot, we take Father's Day seriously. Why not get doing and give dad a gift card that gets him out of the house and into new projects? Because the dads who do the most deserve the most. Whether he's into woodworking, yard work, or grilling up something for the family. A Home Depot gift card gives your dad the power to get everything he needs to keep doing the most. Shop today for a gift that powers dad. At the Home Depot, how doers get more done. Whether you're doing a dance to your favorite artist in the office parking lot, or being guided into Warrior One in the break room before your shift, whether you're running on your Peloton tread at your mom's house while she watches the baby, or counting your breaths on the subway. Inhaling and long exhaling. Peloton is 
Center All Night continues with Jay Reynolds. Sports Center All Night presented by Progressive Insurance. I don't know exactly what the right thing to say is about Zion. The Pelicans, if they want to move way up in the draft, you're looking at potentially making Zion Williamson available. And that would be a fascinating decision. Mm-hmm. But if the Pelicans are serious about moving up, I think it must be something that they're considering. There's going to be a GM or an owner out there that says, you know what, we can fix them. We would love to have them. The ends are not justifying the means. And if I can turn this into someone else's problem, I do it. NBA draft is a week away. You'll, of course, hear it here on ESPN Radio. Spurs and Victor Wembanyama will be linked at the top of the draft, but then what? There could be movement among the top five, at least if New Orleans has its way. And that, says ESPN insider Brian Windhorst, would require a significant move. There's been some feel out there that the Pelicans want to move up in this draft. They have the 14th pick right now and that they may want to move up in this draft. And I, I think it would be premature to say that they've made any offers of players. I don't want to go that far, but obviously you don't have to be a next level genius to realize that if they want to move way up in the draft, you're looking at potentially making Zion Williamson available. That would be a fascinating decision. Mm. But if the Pelicans are serious about moving up, I think that must be something that they're considering. So would the Pelicans really move Zion earlier on ESPN Radio, our Mike Greenberg? I don't know exactly what the right thing to say is about Zion. He's unavailable far too often. He does not seem to take care of his body in the ways that we see a lot of the very best players in the sport do. At some point, you have to look at that and say, the ends are not justifying the means. And if I can turn this into someone else's problem, I do it. Rainy weekdays, 10 o'clock Eastern, following Keyshawn, J. Will, and Mac here on ESPN Radio. When we boil it down, why would a team trade for Zion Williamson? ESPN front office insider Bobby Marks. The talent, I think the talent certainly overshadows a lot of things as far as what he could be and what the appeal is. I think also, I think he's not for everyone, and I think he's not for everyone depending on what you'd have to give up. You know, I mean, I think you're, you know, you know, I don't think it's multiple ones like we saw last off season with Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. I think if it were the number two pick or the number three pick, and there's really not much there to that, I think that's probably more of a risk that teams are willing to do because the talent alone is the talent. Zion Williamson is better than Brandon Miller and Scoot Henderson. I mean, that's the reality of it. Like right now, that's the reality of it. He is a better player than those two, but as we've been talking about, it's just a matter of, you know, being, you know, the ability to stay healthy. So if Zion Williamson does move, what could be feasible or where might he not land earlier on ESPN radio or Jason Fitz. We know Dame Lillard and CJ McCollum have been long, long, long friends, right? What do we know? We know CJ McCollum just played with Zion. We even heard plenty of reports when he came to the Pelicans that part of what they were hoping CJ could do was give him a little kick in the butt about professionalism. I mean, what's the first thing Dame's going to do? He's going to pick up his phone. He's going to call CJ or text him. The kids today, he's going to text CJ and he's going to say, Zion, we want him. And CJ's going to send a bunch of laughing emojis and a no. Right. And then that's all it's going to take. Dame's (laughs) going to go to the front office and say, you want to keep me in Portland. Zion is not the way to do it. Sports Center All Night ESPN Radio. So, yeah, we have the potential of some marquee names being on the move. There's Zion, Kyrie Irving, perhaps, and the aforementioned Damian Lillard. Will this be the window where Lillard finally bids farewell to Portland? Earlier on ESPN Radio are Q Myers and Freddie Coleman. I think somehow, Ooh. some way, that's going to be worked out. I'm not totally convinced it's going to be to the Boston Celtics. He's made it very, very plain. I ain't going over there. Mm-hmm. but I could definitely see a team like the Miami Heat being in the mix. I could even see a team like the New York Knicks being in the mix. Can you imagine Damian Lillard and Jalen Brunson in the backcourt mm-hmm. having that kind of reduction of pressure on each other where in right. small ball NBA, you got two guys who are bucket getters and just find big guys that can screen for them. So, yeah, I think Damian Lillard would be with another team in 2023-2024. I don't see it. I mean, I, I really don't. I think it's going to take a lot to get him. They pick third. Yes. 
Is there any interest in Zion from their standpoint? Maybe. And then say, hey, you know what, Dame? You ain't got to go nowhere. We're going to bring the party to you. But, yeah, if you if you have to rely on Zion Williamson staying felt yeah, and I healthy. Know. I know. It's asking a lot. I, you know? Oh, believe me. It's I wouldn't do lot. it. Hey, look, man, I wouldn't do yeah. it with your picks, yeah. let alone my <laughs> own picks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't do that at all. I wouldn't I wouldn't set you up for, for failure yeah. like that. But yeah. I'm not saying, like you said, yeah. one GM, mm-hmm. one coach. That's all, all it takes. There's always one that will do something like that. And we'll see if Dame Lillard leaves Portland. He's always decided to stay. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. And what about Bradley Beal in Washington? ESPN insider Adrian Wojnarowski. Bradley Beal now in the second year of a five-year, two hundred and fifty-one million dollar deal. Uh, of course, he has that no trade clause, which certainly. Uh, gives him as much autonomy on not only if he's traded, but where he's traded potentially. I think right now, Winger, Bartlestein, Beal, they're all talking. They're going to keep talking and see what they think they can do with this roster. Bartlestein and the Wizards, even predating Michael Winger, have a history of being able to work together uh, along with owner Ted Leonsis. If he does move, don't expect a lot, though, says Brian Winhorst. I just think over the last three or four years when we've heard Bradley Beal rumors, I don't think they've ever been super legitimate. I, but I do think right now before the draft, if they're going to do it, it would be now. And I think that the heat would be at the front of it. And I'm going to tell you, if Bradley Beal gets traded between now and next Thursday, I think people are going to be very surprised. After completing the first season of his five-year $251 million contract, he's the only current player to have a no trade clause negotiated in. Rivalry time. That's next at ESPN Radio. Greeny. The fact that one of the central pieces feels so much bitterness toward it, it is tragic to me. Makes me feel terribly sad for him. Is the most consistent thing in your schedule that 3 p.m. slump? Or maybe you're getting hit with too many invites and not enough Z's. Or maybe it's all of the above. Lucky you. No matter your daily struggle, wearable wellness patches from The Good Patch have you covered. Like their B12 Awake Patch, infused with caffeine and green tea for an extra boost. Or their Dream Patch, made with melatonin for the ultimate beauty rest. On when you need it, off when you don't, just stick it on and feel the difference. Visit thegoodpatch.com and get 20% off your order with promo code MUSIC. Hey, it's Mary Booth. If you're looking for a job opportunity, check out Mediterranean Sandwich Company. Pay starts at $14 an hour with paid training, free meals, yes, birthday and anniversary bonuses, and they offer a three-day work week where you can make full-time working doubles. Think what you could do with the rest of your week. Mediterranean Sandwich Company promotes from within with growth opportunities from management to owning your own store. Apply in person or online at MediterraneanSandwich.com. Summer means camping, kayaking, paddle boarding, or beach cruising on a bike. But who has all that gear? Well, you do. The Bayview Outdoor Pursuit Center has rental gear for your next outdoor adventure. Camping with friends? They have you covered with rental tents, sleeping bags, stoves, backpacks, hammocks, and more. Or get on the water by renting a single or double kayak, paddleboard, even beach cruiser bikes. The Bayview Outdoor Pursuit Center is at East Lloyd Street at Bayview Park in Pensacola. No gear, no problem. Learn more at PlayPensacola.com. The Venture X card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits. Perfect for seeing Taylor Swift the Eras Tour. Presented by Capital One. Ooh, I do love her. Earn five times miles on flights and ten times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Enjoy your stay in Suite 13. Whoa, 13? That's Taylor's lucky number. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Verbo Vacation Homes come with 24-7 live support. So if you ever need anything, you can reach a real person in about a minute. Hey, how can I help? Verbo. Private vacation rentals for you and your people. La nueva Chevy Silverado HD te pone al mando. 
Apodérate de la fortaleza con su motor renovado V8 Duramax Turbo Diesel de 6.6 litros disponible. Apodérate del lago con su avanzada tecnología de remolque disponible. Y apodérate de la tecnología con una pantalla táctil de 13.4 pulgadas en diagonal disponible. La nueva Chevy Silverado HD. Apodérate del trabajo, la diversión y la vida. Conoce más en Chevy.com en español. Find new roads. Chevrolet. The waves were mighty and fierce as could be when my lady and I got lost at sea. We tossed and turned and we nearly drowned when my brave little boat went down. Huh. Whoa, 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 no, none of that's true. You haven't had a date in a year or two. The sea was calm and the sky was clear and you crashed right into the pier. Yeah, fine. Accidents don't just happen in sea shanties, so Progressive Boat Insurance has you covered. Take as little as four minutes to see what you can save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates covered subject to policy terms and not available for all boats or in all situations. At the Home Depot, we take Father's Day seriously. Why not get doing and give dad a gift card that gets him out of the house and into new projects? Because the dads who do the most deserve the most. Whether he's into woodworking, yard work, or grilling up something for the family. A Home Depot gift card gives your dad the power to get everything he needs to keep doing the most. Shop today for a gift that powers dad. At the Home Depot, how doers get more done. Hey, it's Mary Booth. If you're looking for a job opportunity, check out Mediterranean Sandwich Company. Pay starts at $14 an hour with paid training, free meals, yes, birthday and anniversary bonuses, and they offer a three-day work week where you can make full-time working doubles. Think what you could do with the rest of your week. Medit Sports Center All Night continues with Jay Reynolds. Sports Center All Night presented by Progressive Insurance. Progressive Commercial Insurance flexes to fit your business's needs from quick repairs to adjustable coverages and even payment options. Progressive Commercial makes it easy to get what you need. Quote today in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Half hour headlines on Sports Center All Night. The A's have their seven game win streak come to an end. Could the Pelicans be shopping Zion Williamson in order to move up in the NBA draft next week? Major golf action back with us. It gets to a point where you want to have faith in management. I want to have faith that this is the best thing for all of us, but it's clear that that's not the consensus, right? I think the general feeling is that a lot of people feel a bit of betrayal from management. I think the one thing that shocked everybody the most, I think I ran into Ricky and JT about after watching the whole thing, and they were asked if they knew, and they said they didn't know either. There's a state of uncertainty that we don't know. U.S. Open teeing off this morning at L.A. Country Club amidst quite the backdrop, but it is the first time the U.S. Open has been held here in L.A. and ESPN analyst and two-time U.S. Open champ Andy North. I think it's really a wonderful test of golf. It's something that's a little bit different than the players normally see. Uh, it's got some huge fairways, which you don't see in the U.S. Open very often, but there's, there's a lot of slope. Uh, it's it's really a second shot golf course. There's some really teeny little greens and there's some bigger greens with some really awkward spots in it. I think you're going to see some really cool stuff this week. You might see some some bad stuff, too. If you hit it sideways here a little bit and get it in the junk, you can see some double and triples. So I think watching on TV, it's going to be a great watch. Who does this set up and course set up well for? Well, I think, first of all, you always have to think about the guys who are our best players, you know, from Rahm and, Sh and Scheffler and, and Kepka and, and Rory, that group of guys. You surely always have to talk about them. But I think you take a guy like a Cantlay, who's obviously a great player, but he played here a lot. A UCLA guy just right down the street. Max Homa, who lived in this area, he's won a bunch of tournaments in California, won at Riviera early in the year. I mean, here's the... The, those guys understand this. They understand getting around in this area. Sometimes that's a big factor, but it's a golf course that the players are really trying to play a lot of practice rounds on. It's going to take a while to figure this one out, and it's going to be a wonderful test. U.S. Open, of course, taking place amidst that bad backdrop of the bombshell that dropped this month, the unification of the PGA Tour and Live Golf and the BDP Tour. And this week we learned that PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan 
who's in line to be the CEO of the new company, had a little health scare. ESPN's Mark Schlebaugh. Don't know a lot of the details. I've talked to some people around the tour that, that, that think he's going to be okay, and that's first and foremost mm -hmm. the biggest concern right now. But, look, the dude has been under a ton of stress, you know, not just the last couple of weeks, but, you know, for the last couple of years. He's been leading the PGA Tour against its fight against Live Golf. Um, you know, he's caught a lot of scrutiny from his own members, from human rights groups, from politicians um, about this merger, which took place without the knowledge of any players. You know, he had that heated meeting in Canada last week um, where some guys, you know, shouted at him to resign and they couldn't trust him. Right. So he's under a lot of, a lot of stress, not sure what the medical condition is, but I would assume stress and lack of rest might have something to do with it. And now golf being unified under one umbrella uh, Monaghan expected to take over the CEO reigns. But then the questions remain as to what happens with the Live Series. I talked to Dustin Johnson and Bryson DeChambeau at the course today. Both of them told me that the governor of the public investment fund from Saudi Arabia told them that Live Golf will, will go on as planned in 2024. Uh, they're going to finish out this season. I think they got seven tournaments left, including the team championship in Saudi Arabia. And then if you talk to somebody from the PGA Tour, they'll tell you Jay Monaghan is going to have sole discretion whether or not Liv survives beyond this season. Everybody around the PGA Tour thinks Liv's going away. So we'll just have to see. I don't I don't think anybody really knows the truth, and, and people are just repeating what they've heard. But um, a lot to certainly a lot to shake out over the next several months. This is just a guess. Yeah. I don't think there will be Live Golf League in its current form. I think there could be some team competitions, and Bryson DeChambeau said that Yasir Al-Rumian told him that there's going to be some cool new ideas, as Al DeChambeau described it, on a bigger stage, global events. You know, could you have the PGA Tour schedule from January through the Tour Championship in August and then have a series of tournaments in the fall instead of these tournaments, to be honest, that not a lot of guys care about unless they're fighting to keep their tour card. Uh, and then you're having team events in Australia and Japan to take care of Hideki and Matsuyama in London or Ireland to take care of Rory McIlroy, one in South Africa for the South Africans. So you, I could see something like that. There could be some sort form of team golf, but I'm not sure it's, it's going to be the four aces, the range goats and the crusher GC. And of course that's golf in the future in the present. It's the U S open at LA country club this weekend, sports center, all night ESPN radio college football, the sec releasing its 2024 football schedule Wednesday night, featuring some notable matchups, including Alabama at Georgia, Georgia at Texas, Oklahoma at LSU, among others. And the Longhorns will renew their rivalry with Texas A&M for the first time since 2011 Every SEC team will be playing the conference newcomers, Oklahoma or Texas, in 2024. ESPN's uh, Paul Feinbaum. I think this is one of the most exciting, meaningful, seminal moments in the history of the Southeastern Conference. And just to think about Josh Heupel taking hmm. his Tennessee team back to where he made his name in, in Norman. Think about Alabama returning there. I, I covered that the last time there. Uh, on, on just an amazing atmosphere. And, and you know, when you flip it around, Georgia going to Texas and Florida. I mean, Georgia right now is the team everyone is shooting for. So Texas and, and Oklahoma both benefited. And listening to all the critics and all the cynics say that the SEC blew it, that they didn't do the right thing by going to nine. I, I want to see nine. I think most people do. But... They did an amazing job, and, and I think they, they shut everyone up tonight. This is a, it's a sexy eight <laughs> if you're going to have a – when you think of Texas and Texas A&M, what jumps to mind? I, the fact that that game is, is going to be played again, and, and I, I'm, I'm a talk show host, so I look for controversy. I would have rather have seen it in Texas because the Aggie fans <laughs> would have been calling right this minute. But that was part of the, part of the deal, I'm sure. But – there's just so much richness, and I, and I don't want to take away from anyone else that has come into this league over the last 25 years, uh, including Texas A&M. But what Oklahoma and Texas bring, they 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 mat, they, they give A&M another rival, a, a rival that they, they want to see. I, I mean, everyone wants to play Texas. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, most of those same schools want to play Oklahoma as well.
Last month, the SEC voted to eliminate divisions. They approved a temporary eight-game conference schedule to be played in 2024. The slate of games announced on Wednesday keeps the rivalry games intact, at least for now. Oklahoma, Texas, the Red River rivalry will continue with the game to be played in Dallas. Meanwhile, Texas will be hosting Mississippi State, Florida, Georgia, and Kentucky, while the Longhorns will go on the road to Texas A&M, Arkansas, and Vanderbilt. As for Oklahoma in 2024, they will travel to LSU, Auburn, Ole Miss, and Missouri. Sooners will host Alabama, Tennessee, and South Carolina. SEC Network analyst, a former Big 12 nose tackle, former all Big 12 nose tackle, Dusty Dvorak. This is a massive, massive day for college football. Two of the most storied programs in the history of the sport and what is the dominant conference in college football. These fan bases, the scenes you see on Saturdays mesh and are so cohesive with one another. I cannot wait. And just seeing these schedules, man, if it doesn't get your juices flowing, there is something wrong with you. But how are these fans going to take it after looking at these schedules? Oklahoma fans aren't going to be happy only getting three home games as the Texas game in Dallas is one of their home games. And going on the road, you got to go to Death Valley, maybe the toughest place to play in college football. You got to go on the road to Auburn as well. And you also have to go to Oxford, Mississippi. Not going to be easy. So I expect Sooner fans are going to be a little upset with the schedule. From the Texas side, I think they have to love this. And what I really like a lot about the Texas schedule, to be completely honest with you, is the rivalries renewed. Texas A&M, Texas should happen every single year. It's one of the great games in all of college football. I love that Arkansas and Texas are going to rekindle that. Once again, we saw that a few years ago in Fayetteville. And I just think that overall, Texas, outside of Georgia, I think it actually set up pretty well for them. So I think happy folks in Austin. I think some upset folks in Norman after this release. (laughs) The SEC releasing the opponents for 2024. The complete SEC schedule with the dates will be announced later this year sports center all night espn radio back to baseball padres with a five nothing shutout of cleveland padres hitting four homers in the game fourth game with four homers or more this season first that they've done at petco fernando tatis jr three for four with a double also had a leadoff homer in the first inning his 14th of the season manny machado had his seventh in the third one soto his 11th which came in the sixth inning As for the White Sox and Dodgers, Berger hits a blast to left, way back there, it is off the pole, it's a home run, we are tied. That's how it would be in the eighth inning as Jake Berger ties the game at four and then in the ninth. There's a liner for a base hit in the center. Vaughn's going to score. Robert will stop at third. A big insurance run. It's six to four. Eloy Jimenez with his second hit. Six four there. White Sox would win it eight four to snap a three game losing streak. ESPN 1000 with the calls. White Sox first win at Dodger Stadium since June. Of 2014, they'd lost the last three times they played there. Jake Berger, two for five with the two home runs. He now has 15 on the season. Marlins and Mariners, and the Marlins getting their offense with one swing. Now the next offering, swing and a drive, hit pretty deep right field. Sanchez going back at the wall. He leaves, he made the catch. He made the catch. He just robbed Suarez of a grand slam here in the bottom of the ninth inning. An unbelievable game saving grab by Jesus Sanchez in right field. Oh my goodness, he did it. He did it. He robbed him of a grand slam. Tried to get their runs with one swing. Marlins with the 4-1 win over Seattle. The robbery in the ninth inning. First career home run robbery for Sanchez. And the Marlins get the win. 940 WINZ with the call. Giants and Cardinals went extra innings in this one because of what happened in the ninth. A look to second. He throws. Yastrzemski swings and belts it high and deep. Right field. It's got a chance. It is gone. Mike Yastrzemski with the Giants down to their final strike has just tied the game in the ninth inning with a two-run home run. This crowd is stunned. 
five to five in the ninth. Yastrzemski ties it, and then in the 10th, payoff pitch. Estrada swings, line drive, base hit into center field. Edmund up with it, rounding third, Yastrzemski. Here comes the throw home. It's cut off. Yastrzemski slides safely at home, and the Giants take a 6-5 to five lead. 8-5 would be the final as the Giants rally to beat the Cardinals, and Cardinals, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. I don't even know if you would call it a stretch anymore, right? I mean, it's just bad baseball. We've been playing bad baseball for a while now. So um, do I think we could play better baseball with the players we have in here? Sure. But that, that remains to be seen. And we're already three months in. Cardinals have lost five straight, third five-game losing streak this season. Their manager, Arl, Oliver Marmol. At some point, you just have to do something about it. You keep getting punched in the face, punched back. Um you don't score after the third. You have the lead in the ninth. Finish the game. They didn't finish the game. Well, they, they finished it and wound up losing in extra innings. 8-5 the final as the Giants win it. Cardinals 3-11 and in starts made by Jordan Montgomery this season. Phillies and Diamondbacks also wind up going 10 innings because of what happened in the eighth inning. The pitch to him. And a high fly ball. Deep left field. Warning track one. That's how to celebrate number 100. Boy, he got a slider right down the middle of the plate, and he kissed that ball out of here. And we've got a tie game at three. And there we go to the 10th inning, tied at three. One out, the pitch. Swung on, hit high in the air, go. deep center field. Carroll going back, nearing the track. He's got room. He'll make the catch. Both runners are going to tag. Marsh will score, and the Phillies reclaim the lead on the sacrifice fly by Castellanos. It's four to three, Phillies. 4-3 the final. Phillies get the win over Arizona in 10. Cubs a 10-6 win over the Pirates. Cubs scoring double-digit runs in back-to-back -back games for the first time since August of 2021. What's going to make golf so special this weekend? That's next. Sports Center All Night continues. It's ESPN Radio. Coming up Thursday, is it time for the Pelicans to move on from Zion? I'll tell you which young player needs a change of scenery. Keyshawn, J. Willemax, 6 a.m. Eastern, right here on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPN Gear. ESPN Radio Sports Center all night. More next. Houston Methodist Hospital has always and will always invest in its people. As a leading healthcare organization, Houston Methodist recognizes that supporting its team is at the heart of providing unrivaled care. Houston Methodist Hospital is currently hiring for registered nurses and nurse leaders across specialties. Join Houston Methodist Hospital in the heart of innovation in the Texas Medical Center. To learn more and apply for a nurse job, text HMH to 45991. Hey, it's Mary Booth. If you're looking for a job opportunity, check out Mediterranean Sandwich Company. Pay starts at $14 an hour with paid training, free meals, yes, birthday and anniversary bonuses, and they offer a three-day work week where you can make full-time working doubles. Think what you could do with the rest of your week. Mediterranean Sandwich Company promotes from within with growth opportunities from management to owning your own store. Apply in person or online at MediterraneanSandwich.com. Wireless headphones. That'll be $200. I'll use my Capital One Quicksilver card. Now that's a hit. You used the Capital One Quicksilver card, which makes you the hero of every purchase. With Quicksilver, you earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. I wanted running music, but unlimited 1.5% cash back is pretty heroic. Good instincts. Every hero needs a theme song. The Capital One Quicksilver card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. To my newborn baby boy, the day you arrived was one of the happiest days of my life. Right up there with the day I bought my RV from that guy on the internet and insured it with Progressive. <laughs> what a deal. Just know, son, I'll always be here for you. And by here, I mean in the middle of absolutely nowhere. In my RV. Protect your baby with an RV policy from Progressive. Take as little as four minutes to see what you could save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. At the Home Depot, we take Father's Day seriously. Why not get doing and give dad a gift card that gets him out of the house and into new projects? Because the dads who do the most deserve the most, whether he's into woodworking 
yard work, or grilling up something for the family. A Home Depot gift card gives your dad the power to get everything he needs to keep doing the most. Shop today for a gift that powers dad. At the Home Depot, how doers get more done. El COVID a largo plazo puede afectar el corazón y los pulmones durante semanas, meses o años. Defiéndase con hechos. Hable hoy con su médico acerca de su salud mental, física y emocional en general. Hágase chequeos regulares, además de las pruebas y vacunas de COVID. Obtenga más información en alabamaunites.com. Presentado por el Departamento de Salud Pública de Alabama. Office Depot Office Max has great deals on everything you need to succeed, like stylish furniture and chairs to keep you working comfortably, the latest tech to keep you organized and productive. Sports Center All Night continues with Jay Reynolds. We're taking you to Key, Jay and Max, 6 o'clock Eastern time here on ESPN Radio. This morning, tea times at LA Country Club. It's been a whirlwind of a practice week for players at the U.S. Open this week. Players trying to learn about the course they'll be competing on this morning. ESPN's Mark Schleyball. I think it's neat. I think it's got a chance to be one of the better U.S. Opens in recent memory just because it has been one of the most exclusive clubs in the country, maybe as exclusive or more exclusive than Augusta National Golf Club. Not a lot of guys know anything about it on tour because they haven't played it very much and haven't gotten behind the gates. But, you know, until this week, you know, they kind of kept the course to themselves. The members, um, you know, didn't want to give up the several months it takes to, to build it out. I was out on the 18th green today, and it may be the smallest build out I've ever seen on the 18th green of a major championship. And it's because they did not want to block the view from the back veranda and porch of the clubhouse where all the members are going to be sitting on Sunday. It's Mark, different. Mark Schleybaugh says he likes Scotty Scheffler in the tournament this weekend. Then there's Brooks Kepka. He's won five career majors. And when he was asked this week about his goal for career majors, he said double digits. Doable? ESPN analyst Andy North. You know what? Of all the players who are currently playing, I think he'll end up with the most major championships. I, I think he's an absolute killer when it comes to a major. Most, I, I'd say probably 75% of the, percent of the players in this field, when you get to a major championship, their game maybe goes down a little bit. It's not as good as it is on the weekly, the normal weekly tournaments. Kepka comes to a major, his game gets better very much like you saw Nicholas, very much like you saw Tiger Woods. They could play at this level as well as anybody. And Kepka's one of those guys. He loves come to majors. He loves people complaining about how hard it is. He loves the chaos that's around the tournament. Uh, he's going to win a bunch more, I think, before he's done. Mike believes that the most overblown story in golf is the sort of PGA Tour players versus the live tour players. You are among the players. Do you believe that's overblown or do you think it is a legitimate story given the, the fracture between the two tours? I think that there may be a few players that there's some animosity, but once you get out here, you're competing against guys. You, you love to play against the best. And I think that's the bottom line. You get to major championship. It's nice to see all the best players here. Uh, you know, we saw how well Kepka has obviously paid, played the first two majors of the year. You love to see those guys here and compete. And, and I guarantee you, John Ron would tell you, he loves to see them here so he can try to beat them. And that's what it's all about. The best trying to beat the best. Kepka does seem to rise to the occasion at the majors. He has played in three dozen majors so far in his career. He has the five wins, four other runner-up finishes, overall 18 top 10 finishes in the Grand Slam events, 14 of those 18 being top five finishes for Kepka. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. As for the top sounds from Wednesday, let's say hello to Mark Robbins. Number four. Hello there, Jay. We begin with Showtime for the Angels. 
Shohei Otani leading L.A. against the Texas Rangers. The call on Angels Radio AM 830. Here's the next pitch. And Shohei swings at that one and lifts the ball high and deep out in the left center. And that's in the second deck. Otani has just hit another home run. His AL leading 21st of the season. That is a two-run shot. And the Angels trail it 6-3. to three. Number three. So that's the big blow for the Angels. And the Rangers answer with Marcus Simeon on 105.3 The Fan. Two outs, one one. Marcus swings, hits a high fly ball down the left field line. Hooking towards the pole. That ball is off the pole and out of here. Marcus Simeon put his index finger over his lips as he rounded first base. I don't know to who that was directed. But he is circling third and touching home, a two-run home run. Number two. In the Subway Series, the Yankees' Isaiah Kainafalefa stealing a seat on a crowded Subway car on ESPN. Here he comes. Steal a home, and he will do it. Isaiah Kainafalefa ran around the bases, and the Yankees got a 3-1 lead. Number one. Still on the Subway. In fact, it stopped number 10 is in the bottom of the 10th. Brandon Nimmo trying to find success again on ESPN. Nimmo, right field, deep. That sends Bowers way back. Still going back. It's off the wall. Escobar, a slow start at second base. He's being waved in. Here he comes. Nimmo does it. And the Mets walk it off. Walk-off win for the Mets as they win the Subway Series. You know, it's been pretty good of late. The Reds. The payoff. And India swings. He sends a high, deep drive left field. Oliveris is back. He looks up at the wall, and that ball is gone. 700 WLW. Reds hitting four homers in the game last night. They beat the Royals 7-4. to Ellie De La Cruz, though, 0-4 for 4 with a strikeout. He's 0-12 for 12 with five Ks in his last three games. Royals, meanwhile, have lost nine straight, 50 losses in their 68 games this season. Fewest games needed to reach 50 losses in a season in team history. That'll do it for Sports Center all night. I'm Jay Reynolds. It's Thursday, June 15th, birthday of a couple of former big leaguers, Hall of Famer Wade Boggs and former All-Star first baseman Tony Clark, who has also spent the past decade as the head of the Players Union. It's been termed a first date for DeAndre Hopkins and the Patriots this week. How's it been? That's coming up this morning on Key J and Max. They're next at ESPN Radio. Hey, it's Mary Booth. If you're looking for a job opportunity, check out Mediterranean Sandwich Company. Pay starts at $14 an hour with paid training, free meals, yes, birthday and anniversary bonuses, and they offer a three-day work week where you can make full-time working doubles. Think what you could do with the rest of your week. Mediterranean Sandwich Company promotes from within with growth opportunities from management to owning your own store. Apply in person or online at MediterraneanSandwich.com. Progressive presents Precious Moments. Hey, Jess, want to come for a ride on my motorcycle? You know, we can talk about our feelings and explore our emotional compatibility. I thought you'd never ask. The exchange you just heard didn't actually happen, but it could. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive and you could use the savings to make sure the motorcycle is always ready for your dream girl. So keep the dream alive and the savings coming with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. At the Home Depot, we take Father's Day seriously. Why not get doing and give dad a gift card that gets him out of the house and into new projects? Because the dads who do the most deserve the most, whether he's into woodworking, yard work, or grilling up something for the family. A Home Depot gift card gives your dad the power to get everything he needs to keep doing the most. Shop today for a gift that powers dad. At the Home Depot, how doers get more done. Summer means camping, kayaking, pedal boarding, or beach cruising on a bike. But who has all that gear? Well, you do. The Bayview Outdoor Pursuit Center has rental gear for your next outdoor adventure. Camping with friends? They have you covered with rental tents, sleeping bags, stoves, backpacks, hammocks, and more. Or get on the water by renting a single or double kayak, paddleboard, even beach cruiser bikes. The Bayview Outdoor Pursuit Center is at East Lloyd Street at Bayview Park in Pensacola. No gear, no problem. Learn more at PlayPensacola.com. 
Hey, it's Mary Booth. If you're looking for a job opportunity, check out Mediterranean Sandwich Company. Pay starts at $14 an hour with paid training, free meals, yes, birthday and anniversary bonuses, and they offer a three-day work week where you can make full-time working doubles. Think what you could do with the rest of your week. Mediterranean Sandwich Company promotes from within with growth opportunities from management to owning your own store. Apply in person or online at MediterraneanSandwich.com. The Venture X card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits. Perfect for seeing Taylor Swift The Eras Tour. Presented by Capital One. Ooh, I do love her. Earn five times miles on flights and ten times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Enjoy your stay in Suite 13. Whoa, 13? That's Taylor's lucky number. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. The new Chevy Silverado HD puts you in command. Own strength with its enhanced available Duramax 6.6 liter turbo diesel V8. Own the lake with its available advanced towing technology. And own technology with an available 13.4 inch diagonal touchscreen. The new Chevy Silverado HD. Own work, own play, own life. Learn more at Chevy.com. Find new roads. Chevrolet. At the Home Depot, we take Father's Day seriously. Why not get doing and give dad a gift card that gets him out of the house and into new projects? Because the dads who do the most deserve the most. Whether he's into woodworking, yard work, or grilling up something for the family. A Home Depot gift card gives your dad the power to get everything he needs to keep doing the most. Shop today for a gift that powers dad. At the Home Depot, how doers get more done. Progressive presents an ad from mom. When you bundle your home and auto insurance with Progressive (laughs) Bundle, that's a cute word. What? Read it again. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. If you're Bradley Beal, you don't want to walk into a roster that probably would look like the current team you're on right now. I believe Miami is going to add a huge piece. Could it be Bradley Beal? Then I think they become on the short list of favorites to win the championship. If Bradley Beal gets traded between now and next Thursday, I think people are going to be very surprised at the price mm. and how potentially low it's going to be. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max, ESPN Radio. We are presented by Progressive Insurance. Good morning, guys. Key, you will be an R&B singer. If you you can choose any music, you will be an R&B singer. I can see you, like, making yourself sweat before you even came out on set. You know what I mean? Just to to give that glistening look. So it pops. I, I don't know. I don't know that I would be an R and B singer. Really, you got a lot of R and B vibes. Like you put them the no, extra I chapstick. I, I probably do. You know? But I got a lot of switch up game just in general in life. You know. Yeah, yeah you're so, definitely you're running. You're doing the miss before you go on the set. Like, no, I probably. <laughs> I'm so I'm so creative and stuff, Jay. Yeah. I might prefer to be more of a rock star. I don't. You know I don't see saying? that. You're not as active. Like no, you're that's not, not true. If I need to be, if you need to be, I yeah. Don't see I, rock. I got a cold yeah, I don't see rock. I don't see rock. I don't, rock. See, rock. I don't no. see rock. See, you don't see don't rock see because you see me as me. No, no, because it's, you're, you're uh, it's too laid. You're back. too laid back. Yeah. You too too much Cali. Too laid back. Yeah, too laid back. I'm Can't, gonna be a laid rockers, back. Man. I'm a West Coast laid back rock star. So you guys are from like the <laughs> 70s. Alan Yates says you soft do that rock. in the 70s. You doing soft rock? You doing soft rock? I just threw a blank in my. I just my man, man, my uh. How, how, where's my brain? I, I don't know. You got to do oh, your brain. God, man. Good uh, thing to take it with you. <laughs> you should wake up and have it with you. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> now we're waiting on, know, we're waiting I, on some rock star from the oh West Coast. My to God. Rock. Uh, he's my man. And I know this you, is the best part. He's your boy, too. I know you know him. No, he, him. If he's my, look, if he's my boy, <laughs> we're out all in crap. trouble <laughs> in the world. Because <laughs> <Well. laughs> if he's my boy, that means. That I didn't die, came back to Earth, died yeah. again. Come on, Max Seattle. Uh, Seattle. Oh, Kurt Cobain. No, no, no yeah, the brother. definitely not. Uh, definitely not in the brother. Uh, brother. Definitely not. It, oh God, oh, my man. brain. Oh wait, now I gotta Google Seattle brother. <laughs> brother, soft rock. Oh, Is that what I need man. to Google? I mean, the only guy who comes to mind is Hootie and the Blowfish, right? <laughs> seal, you got a little seal in you. 
Seal. No, <laughs> stop. <laughs> no, it's going. Why? Where's my brain Bro, at? Hold on, let me see. Oh, why did Seattle. this happen? Eight, eight, getting... eight, say yes, Jim. Where's Key's brain Man, at? Where's anybody see Key's brain? Max, you got a little like. Hey, it's going to come Jovi to me. you, like Jersey. Oh, no, that's little, not me. Yeah, you got a little. I got no Jersey. Jimmy Hendrix, my brain. Oh, man. Jimmy Hendrix. Oh, definitely... I'm like, yeah, you got. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't got all the beads on, and you know what I mean. You I got seem beads. Like you I got earth. beads and stuff. But you no. ain't earthing. You ain't like that in tune with nature. What you like mean? That. <laughs> Jimmy Hendrix, no. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Why are you trying to stretch? You can barely get your leg up. No, I didn't want to knock down the mic. No, I was showing you, Jay. I'm walking around. With you no shoes on. Oh, that's crying first out off, loud. Nasty off, see, this studio. That's why I know you got problems, boy. Like, <laughs> oh. You didn't play. I, don't put they your feet on national Jay, TV. They got him. Don't they got him. Play, no. They got him. Boy, don't put oh. your feet on national TV if you ain't got oh, no lotion got... on the ankles or nothing. Jay, Jay, I don't, Jay, I don't Jay, care. Jay, you've been in the desert with those ankles. Damn. Where you been in the desert with those ankles? These dudes take off their shoes on the plane. I don't know why. I did oh, chalk last I night. I couldn't come up with the name. Yeah, but Jimi Hendrix. Jimmy Jimmy Hendrix. Hendrix. Yeah, I, come on, yeah, Max. I, who would yeah. you be? Who would I be? Oh, we're playing what rock star would yeah, we be? Wait, no, we're not a rock star. I don't think you're a rock star. All right. We're going to hurry up. You're like, you're like one of those like political like white rappers. Oh, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Political white rappers. Rapper. Yeah, no, yeah, no, like, he's right. You know what I mean? Like, you bro- be- yeah, my brother and I had when we See? we had a record deal, and we only got to we only put out the one. But the idea was that, that we did like have logic. political but stuff. I, but like I just didn't want to put it out at first. You're like an yeah. older logic. Yeah. But I need mean? to know what's a political white rapper, Jay, because I don't know one. I don't, I don't know one either. I, it just it just flowed. But he hit it though. Like, Jay hit it. Yeah. yeah, it felt right because early on in hip hop, there was a lot more of that like conscious rap, right? That's how a lot of the story. Yes, Vanilla Ice type. Is that what you? No, that? that wasn't. Oh, that's <laughs> political. No, <laughs> so I mean you. You know, boy. yeah, I said Eminem. Yeah, and me, I'm Fire yeah. Festival, so it's all good. We got I see. it. Yeah. I see. All yeah. right, so let's there move we along. Before what Frank superhero calls. would you be? All right, look. <laughs> Frank, Speaking of superhero, right? so so Bradley Beal's uh, name has been bandied about recently because he has a uh, uh, big numbers on his contract coming up, plus a no trade clause. Um, meaning that his meaning what you have to give up for him probably won't be what you would normally have to give up for a player of his caliber who's still more or less in his prime, right? Damn, Jay. Because they they, they, came in the league at the wrong time, Key. The no trade clause limits where he can go, thereby depressing the number of potential teams of, of buyers, right? And then the high price tag. So people, so so that makes him a really interesting guy to watch because some team is probably gonna, if they can trade for him, is gonna scoop him up for less than he's worth. Can, can we can, can, can we start here? Let, let's because we're gonna get into a lot today. There's a lot popping off today, but let, <laughs> let's let's compartmentalize it for one second before we get into what team Bradley Bill fits around. I want to talk about what kind of player Bradley Bill is because mm-hmm. we had a pre-show meeting. I think Bradley Bill's a top 20 player in the league. I think he That's is right. he is a gem that people, if you don't watch the Washington Wizards, if you don't like pay attention to basketball, you don't understand the greatness and the potential that if this dude were on the main stage night in, night out, we'll be talking about him at the caliber. We talk about other players like James Harden, uh, Jason Tatum, potentially, uh, we, we will be talking about him at that level. He is that type of player. Tatum, he is one of he is one of ten. Tatum level player. He is one of ten players in the league to play at least fifty games to average at least twenty three points per game to shoot fifty percent from the field, dude. Fifty percent from the field Tatum. on a bad team. On a bad team, it ain't it ain't that far off. No, I, I it's very close. It's similar. But let's let like a offensively, lot of times, it might be more prolific than a, Jason Tatum. A lot of times, people will do this because you you put your eyeballs on a guy. You're like, damn man, it doesn't get much better than that, right? But even you just said top twenty. That's awesome. But uh, like, so I'll do a star system, right? Say five stars, you're an MVP caliber player. Four, you're an all star. Three, you're you're a starter. Two, you're a rotation piece. One, you're replaceable, right? He, if you think he is not four star, he's more than that. I don't five star. I, no, I've I think never he, heard I think anyone more, say he's a. I think he's more than four star. I think he's so like he's four, four plus. I think he's like four point six, four point seven, four point six or seven. Yes. He, if you if you yes. if you if you take Bradley Beal and you swap him out with Tatum and you put him on Boston, 
Ooh. You're probably in the same situation. Yes, sir. Thank and that may, and that means he becomes yes. an MVP type player long. because He's he has other too nowadays. people. He has other people around him. You don't have anything in Washington. Mm-hmm. There's nothing there. And if you're not watching, like Jay say, you just think, okay, he's scoring some points. Okay, he cool. His step back game is sick. Yeah, and and he and John like, Wall were. I mean, you know, but they didn't. It wasn't like they were popping up in the finals. Tatum. But and Jalen Brown kids, have man. been in the conference finals but almost were, every year of their you career. Remember, though, hold on one second. Though, yeah, man. Go ahead, go ahead. I mean, Jay, back, Ski, go ahead. He was kid. They was kids. And then and then Wall got hurt. Mm-hmm. They were kids. And so when you say, well, they wasn't popping up in the finals, they was 12 years old. Yeah, but I, I get it. I'm saying you want to be like, um, there's a sense that like you want to be like a morally upright about a dude like this, right? Like and give him his props. But I don't think anyone would take him instead of Jason Tatum. I think everyone, everyone you talk to would take Jason Tatum over him. So like well, because, to say he's, well, he, well, he's 29 years old. Jason yeah. Tatum is 25 years old. And the, much the, taller the runway and is different and, and better defensively. Yeah, but I, I'm just talking about where we are right now in the game of basketball. You, you put him on the Miami heat. I'm giving them a way better chance to oh, beat yeah, them. Of course. Wait. And course. by the way, Jimmy's not the lead dog. Bam isn't the lead dog. Oh, Bradley Bill right. is the lead dog. Player. Yeah. Like you put him on. I mean, he might be the lead dog on Boston. And he and he's he might be the lead dog on Boston. No. Yes. Over Jason Tatum on offense. Yes, I'm trying to tell you. Yes. I am saying, depending upon who you built the system around, like that that has a lot to do with it. But he don't give you just as many points as Jason Tatum. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. why I, agree I with that. That's why sure. I said that's why I just that's said if you sure. that's why I said if you swap them out for whatever reason, there's no Tatum on Boston. You might be in the same situation. You I think could a little. I think if, if if you ask people, it was the uh, look? It's not against Bradley Beal. He's an awesome player. But if the arrow goes up, down, or stays the same, you swap Tatum out for Beal. It goes down. Defense gets a little worse, and 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 offensively, Tatum is a lot offensively. A lot. When you and look Brad, at Bradley, Bradley Beal, you say, "Can he be?" A lot? It, it's not that he's not. If you say, "Can Bradley Beal be the best player, best offensive player on a championship team?" Yeah. Yeah, you probably need yes. two other dudes right at his level, if not on offense, in some way. Tatum, you look at him, you might only need one other dude, more or less, on his level. Like, Tatum and Brown came pretty close to chipping up. They got to game six of the finals. Actually, I, I can't wait to tell you how wrong you are Go ahead. on that. No, go no, ahead. no, I, I, I will you next You get him first, because I, I'll follow you. No, no, you. go ahead, Keith. No, you get him, go. Uh, he, he, can, he can definitely be a lead dog. He can be the guy that scores you 25 points per game. I agree. Like, if you have the right pieces right. So don't. But I'm not look, saying. There are different ways. Jimmy Butler got. Jimmy Butler was the lead dog on the team. Like, would you, would you, I mean, would you have said that about Jimmy Butler? You would have said. Never. He got himself to an NBA finals two out of the past four years. I would have never predicted he would get and there he got as the there. best player and on the team. And he got there. But right? he's also a very good defensive player. Uh, agreed, but that debunks your prediction. No, because it's a, because your best player is a two-way player in Jimmy Butler at a high level. But I can Bradley have, Beal's offense is better than Jimmy Butler's. Okay, but I can have pieces. I mean, Jamal Murray was hidden off defensively. Sure. That's why you had KCP. That's why you have Bruce Brown. Sure. So it, once again, it's how you construct your team and your roster, right? Like that's a, a really wait, big. I'm way. not saying. I'm saying Bradley Beal could be the best offensive player on a championship team. I think if that is the case, you need a little bit more than you would if Jason Tatum was the best offensive player because Tatum also brings defense and size. He just brings a little more to the table. I think that's fair to say. I don't think that's a. I, I don't want to get bogged down into take. a comparison between Jason Tatum and Bradley Beal. My my original take was that he's a top twenty player in the league. Yeah, twenty. He, and, and like, and by the way, when he's more in the mainstream, it could be a lot higher. I would love for you to make a list, uh, one to uh, Bradley Beal. Yeah, maybe I can go do one that. to Bradley Beal. Maybe that would be that. interesting. Maybe I can do that. So Bobby Marks had a trade idea, guys. Heat receive Bradley Beal. Wizards receive Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, and a 2028 protected top 10 pick. Doesn't seem like a lot for Bradley Beal, but again, the no trade clause and the contract depress his trade value. Someone's going to get a deal on this guy if they trade for him. I would do that in a heartbeat. If that were the package... In a Please, heartbeat, go. of course. Let's go. Of course. Let's go. Of course. If you're Miami, let's go. Especially since Miami's built to win now, not in 2028. And boom, just like that, you slide Bradley Beal. A lot really of people chance. are going to be in the arms race for Bradley Beal. But the no trade clause limits the number True. that he can dictate where he's going to go largely. All right, you you have the perfect landing spot for Bradley yes, Beal, Jay. Plus, should the Pelicans move on from Zion after Key has this from Granger? 
do, do, after do, someone do, has something do, from somewhere. Do, 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 do. For the yeah. ones who get it done, Granger offers high-quality supplies and solutions for every industry, as well as access to product specialists who have the knowledge and experience to answer your toughest questions. Plus, their commitment to being your safety partner can help you keep your facility safe and your people safer. So guess what, Key? Just call or click Granger.com or just stop on by. To hear Bradley Beal, you don't want to walk into a roster that probably would look like the current team you're on right now. I believe Miami is going to add a huge piece. Could it be Bradley Beal? If Bradley Beal gets traded, people are going to be very surprised at the price. This is Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. Hey, it's Mary Booth. If you're looking for a job opportunity, check out Mediterranean Sandwich Company. Pay starts at $14 an hour with paid training, free meals, yes, birthday and anniversary bonuses, and they offer a three-day work week where you can make full-time working doubles. Think what you could do with the rest of your week. Mediterranean Sandwich Company promotes from within with growth opportunities from management to owning your own store. Apply in person or online at MediterraneanSandwich.com. As you navigate life's big changes, like moving or expanding your family, it's important to ensure you have the right health insurance coverage. That's where Health Markets can help. A licensed insurance agent with Health Markets can help you with personalized guidance to find the right plan for your unique situation at no cost to you. With Affordable Care Act plans, sometimes called Obamacare, you can rest easy knowing that many screenings, pre-existing conditions, and preventative care are covered. Shop online or with a health markets agent to get started on the path to health insurance coverage. Learn more at healthmarkets.com. Don't let life changes catch you off guard. Trust health markets to find you coverage. That's healthmarkets.com. Health Markets Insurance Agency Incorporated is licensed as an insurance agency in all 50 states and the District of Columbia. Service and product availability varies. Agents may be compensated based on your enrollment. No obligation to enroll. Wireless headphones. That'll be $200. I'll use my Capital One Quicksilver card. Now that's a hit. You used the Capital One Quicksilver card, which makes you the hero of every purchase. With Quicksilver, you earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. I wanted running music, but unlimited 1.5% cash back is pretty heroic. Good instincts. Every hero needs a theme song. The Capital One Quicksilver card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. A strong work ethic takes pride in a job well done. This is you. But to get an honest day's work, you need a callback. You need a job. Express Employment Professionals can help. We'll connect you to the right company. We're committed to your success and never charge a fee to find you a job. Express knows jobs. Get to know Express. Find your location at ExpressPros.com or on the Express Jobs app. Love multitasking? Through Instacart, you can shop on your schedule and get delivery from over a 1,000 stores nationwide. And now with Klarna, you can pay on your schedule, too. Just add items to your cart on Instacart and at checkout, select Pay With. Then select Klarna. Get whatever you need on Instacart. Pay however you want with Klarna. New customers get $20 off your first two orders of $80 or more per order when you pay with Klarna using code Klarna20. Terms apply. See Instacart.com or download the app for more details and to start shopping. At the Home Depot, we take Father's Day seriously. Why not get due... To hear Bradley Beal, you don't want to walk into a roster that probably would look like the current team you're on right now. I believe Miami is going to add a huge piece. Could it be Bradley Beal? Then I think they become on the short list of favorites to win the championship. If Bradley Beal gets traded between now and next Thursday, I think people are going to be very surprised at the price mm. and how potentially low it's going to be. I'm going to let the chips fall. I'm walk and try and see me pick fall. Keyshawn J. Will and Max, ESPN Radio, Sirius XM Channel 80. We are presented by Progressive Insurance. So we're gonna we're gonna get into Zion Williamson's future in just a bit, but Jay, you got a landing spot for Bradley Beal that no one else is talking about right now. I got the best landing spot. It's the best landing spot in the league, and I guarantee you. 
if this happens, you, Max Kellerman, will be talking about Bradley Bill very, very differently I, than your tone right now. My tone is and your is, tone is respectful right now. My tone is on the money. Your tone is respectful right now. I'm just saying, you guys, it's going to be elevated. Okay, good. You ready? Good. The Golden State Warriors. It makes all the sense in the world. I go back to when Draymond Green punched Jordan Poole, and the whole chemistry was just disrupted. I even go back to games since against Sacramento, where you saw a line drawn in the sand, where literally Jordan was coming off the court. Dre was trying to tell him, yo, keep your head up. It's okay. Jordan was like, get your hand off me, whatever. Walked to the end of the bench. Steph walked by Dre, walked over to Jordan, scolded Jordan Poole, and then came back and dapped up Draymond Green. You got Draymond Green, who's a pivotal piece to them making one last run for the team of a championship with the core together, okay? I think he opts into the contract. Now, what you do with Clay coming off this year is a big-time question. But if you're Golden State and you're trying to extend the runway for Steph's legacy in this continuity system, why do you not think about letting Jordan Poole go? You're already talking about letting Kaminga go, potentially Moses Moody. Now, I don't want to give up that much. I've heard people t- throw in potentially Clay Thompson as well with maybe a Kaminga and a Jordan Poole. If you're not sure that Jordan Thompson, uh, that Clay, you want to pay him the Supermax moving forward after the last year of his deal, is there a way to make a move for a Bradley Bill with Steph, with Andrew Wiggins, potentially with a guy like Dre? And Wiggins another- picks up the slack defensively. I'm because you are you, losing it, something defensively in the backcourt. Yes, you are. But I mean, with with Clay, and so you're losing yeah, Clay, some length but, in defense. But, see, but Clay is Clay, Clay is not Clay's what he not was really before the injury you, yeah. at that when level that, like though, he used to. Yeah, it's true. When you say that though, Jay, you make it sound like Clay didn't have a solid season. No, 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 no. You Clay know? Clay's had a solid season. I'm thinking about extending the championship yeah, yeah. runway it's a dynamic for Steph. That's a dynamic no, Steph. backcourt. And, and, and Bradley in that system, yeah, yeah, they can. in that system with how they utilize pick and roll, with how they utilize Steph, with their movement, it fits flawlessly, seamlessly. It would explode. It's an unstoppable oh, sorry, backcourt. Oh, my God. Sorry, sorry, it makes them younger, and it makes them more efficient, and it makes them more prolific without the drama. So essentially, well, at least for now. Huh? For uh, now. So what you're saying, though, the the two plus million, two hundred plus million dollars that you would have to surrender to Clay, you give that to Bradley Bill, right? And, and that, Jordan Poole. I mean, Jordan, you, I mean, yeah, you you put Jordan Poole in the package. Yeah, you put that in the package from a money standpoint. You can move on from from Clay and move on from Jordan Poole. So the money equals out because you got to find a trade partner that has the money. Well, and why the would the Wizards is, do it, Jay? Mm-hmm. Because they Why ain't got the no other choice. Because you get a young asset, and then you got Clay, who has one more year left on this deal. It comes off your books, and then you got a young piece. You, you have a young piece, but how, you, how do you think Jordan Poole is valued in the league right now? Well, I think it's interesting. I, well, if you're Washington, you're going through a rebuild. I might right? prefer so you're looking, you're looking draft for- picks. You know, I might prefer if I'm if I'm Washington, I'm thinking about it. Look, Jordan. I mean, Bradley Beal has a lot of leverage here because of the no trade. So he, it, it, I suppose if he were to say um, it's Golden State, what could they possibly do, right? They're going to have to take some package from Golden State. So I guess uh, if Jordan Poole is the centerpiece of it, but if you're a Wizards fan and you're like, okay, we lost Bradley Beal, we got back a package basically centered around Jordan Poole, boy, there better be a lot of draft picks in there. Yeah, I mean, but if you're a Wizards fan, like you, you want to rebuild, but it's also about like, what are we getting about? And like, how quickly can money come off our books? Kaminga's interesting because Kaminga's still very young. He's uh, how old is Kaminga? I, 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 I want to say he's yeah, like you 20, can take Jordan Poole, Kaminga, and some draft picks. You could hey. do it that way. Yeah, you could do it that way. I mean, it's Why a crowded not? backcourt, Bra- and he's not getting burned now anyway. Really, Kaminga. So what's the difference? But if you're Golden State, you're going to have the problem too. anyway, though. Key about like if you can get Clay on the cheap. Like, can you get that done? Who can who can get Golden Clay State get Clay? Absolutely not on nah, the cheap. Nah, not gonna happen. All right. So then, if you're Joe Lacobs, you're gonna be in the same situation, though, right? Because then that this luxury tax thing is a real thing. So it's a real it's a real conundrum for a team that just lost Bob Myers. So now you look at um, you know Joe Lacobs' son and Mike Dunleavy Jr who are now like the de facto GMs of the team, you have big decisions to make I about see, being over the cap. I see, Key, though, why he says Golden State, because the question is when you have two guys making what Steph and Beal would be making, given the new rules in the CBA in terms of salary cap and how hard it is to get three guys, the question is, is that backcourt dynamic enough where you can fill in the pieces with less expensive parts? I think the answer is yes. If you have Steph and Bradley Beal in the same backcourt, 
that's a lot that can their, propel you far. Their number, their number is going to be high regardless, though, Jay. If, if Golden State's still trying to make a run, their number is going to be high. And what I mean by that yeah. is Wiggins has a high number. Yep, you're right. Clay has you're a right, high kid. number. Bradley Beal has a high number. Curry has a high number. And if you think for one minute that Draymond Green is just going to opt in for one year and they cool and that's it, that's not going to happen. He's either going to get an extension or he's going to opt out. He ain't just opting in for the sake of being friends with the Golden State Warriors. It's Steph, Beal, Wiggins, and then spare parts. That's the team going forward. That's but if you, it's, if it's you good. Go Steph, it's very but, good. But you can't just have those three. It doesn't work without what, Dre, though. I was just yeah. – It does not it out, work you, without Dre. You exactly mm-hmm. – better keep what Kaminga I was ready and hope to say. turn into something. Mm. I was exactly going to say that. You cannot do it without Draymond Green. Yeah. No matter what the combination of the three is. And I think a lot of people in throughout the course of the year – based on the punching a pool took a sour take throughout the course of the season, the regular season on who Draymond Green was as a player. They forgot that he is a, a, a like the glue that holds everything together. Even though it's Clay's, I mean, Steph's team, Draymond is like the godfather of the whole situation. So this is what you got to do key based on you that. Know? I agree with that analysis. You got to bring Dre in and say, look, this is what we're thinking about move. doing. We think we can solve the Jordan Poole issue and and propel us into the future if you buy in, like and you and you gotta kinda have Dre sign off on the deal, right? And I know it's wild though, but if you're trying to compete with the Denver Nuggets, like you have to be scouring the market for a big. Like I said it joking around after Denver won. I said They've been able to end small ball. You got to find a guy like a Dwight Howard. Yeah, that I knew could, he was that, about to say Dwight. I mean, yeah. look, you get him. You guys are playing over in Taiwan. He's recruiting everybody over in Taiwan right now. So, man, that dude's like, a thousand years old. What you gonna get? Nine oh, minutes out of it? Need it's an actual, a physical to be, guy yes, to put on. Yes. You need. And by the way, yes. you need like know, you need three of those said. guys. I know, I know <laughs> you need fouls. Key, you know what I mean? Yeah. You need fouls. Well, you need space leaders. If you have Dwight Howard, you don't need three of them. Because if you had the original Dwight Howard that was a defensive player of the year. Yeah, but you ain't going to get original, yeah. But you're not going to – I don't know where you're going to Right, find so that. that's the point. you got three of those guys that's 18 fouls on Jokic. Right? Like, but you're going to have to have something to answer Jokic. There's no but doubt I about tell you, that. I mean, that would be one of the most prolific backcourts the game of basketball has seen. Ever, like, yeah. Between Steph and yeah. Bradley Beal. Because Bradley Beal, I mean, uh, he's not the shooter Clay is, but offensively he can do stuff with the basketball. And yeah. he's he's more of a playmaker. Right, that's what I mean. Clay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a lot. That's a good one. All right, listen. Okay. We're going to get into Zion Williamson's future. Wait, before you Will it be continue, in New Orleans? before you continue, Max, yeah. I'm not going to snap the paper. Do I have a read? No, no. I did your read. Nope. Okay. Nope. All right. Nothing. As what far as I can was, see. I did your read Just, before. Yep. And now we're. Soon as Key has square. this. All right. Coming up, we're going to talk about. For the ones who. Zion, no. should the Pelicans no. trade him? KJM. <laughs> The Pelicans, if they want to move way up in the draft, you're looking at potentially making Zion Williamson available. Well, there's going to be a GM that says, you know what, we can fix him. We would love to have him. If I can turn this into someone else's problem, I do it. This is Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. When the whole family comes together to watch the game, nobody wants to miss a second of the action to run to the grocery store. With Instacart. You can get all your weekly groceries in as fast as an hour. Less time shopping means more game time. Let's go. Visit Instacart.com to get free delivery on your first three orders. Offer valid for a limited time. $10 minimum per order. Additional terms apply. Have you heard of Instacart? I use it to get same-day delivery for my groceries and essentials. So I figured it's time to join Instacart Plus. Now I get unlimited free delivery on orders over 35 bucks, 5% credit back on pickup, and a family account. With all these benefits, our savings really add up. No wonder Instacart Plus members save $460 a year when they order at least once a week. See how much you'll save. Visit instacartplus.com for two weeks free. Average savings exclude membership fee. Individual savings and credit back excludes alcohol. Paid membership auto renews. Additional terms apply. Hey, it's Mary Booth. If you're looking for a job opportunity, check out Mediterranean Sandwich Company. Pay starts at $14 an hour with paid training, free meals, yes, birthday and anniversary bonuses, and they offer a three-day work week where you can make full-time working doubles. Think what you could do with the rest of your week. Mediterranean Sandwich Company promotes from within with growth opportunities from management to owning your own store. Apply in person or online at MediterraneanSandwich.com. 
They saved me again at Do It's Battery Supply. Hey, it's Shelby, and I needed a battery for our carbon monoxide detector in our home, ASAP. David and Sherry came to the rescue. You know, they have any kind of battery for anything. Their customer service is over the top. Hey, they've been family-owned and operated for over 75 years, so of course they're going to be the best. Auto, marine, utility, electronics, they've got any and all batteries. Check them out in Mobile on Spring Hill or go see Ethan in Fairhope. Do It's Battery Supply. When you go in, make sure you tell them you heard about it from Shelby Mitchell. As you navigate life's big changes, like moving or expanding your family, it's important to ensure you have the right health insurance coverage. That's where health markets can help. A licensed insurance agent with health markets can help you with personalized guidance to find the right plan for your unique situation at no cost to you. With Affordable Care Act plans, sometimes called Obamacare, you can rest easy knowing that many screenings, pre-existing conditions, and preventative care are covered. Shop online or with a health markets agent to get started on the path to health insurance coverage. Learn more at healthmarkets.com. Don't let life changes catch you off guard. Trust health markets to find you coverage. That's healthmarkets.com. Health Markets Insurance Agency Incorporated is licensed as an insurance agency in all 50 states and the District of Columbia. Service and product availability varies. Agents may be compensated based on your enrollment. No obligation to enroll. What should we do with the broke propeller? What should we do with the broke propeller? Don't look at me, I wasn't driving. Thank you, you're not helping. I don't even know why you bought this boat. You told me that you loved this boat. That was before you wrecked the boat. Well, now you've made it awkward. Accidents don't just happen in sea shanties, so Progressive Boat Insurance has you covered. Take as little as four minutes to see what you can save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates covered subject to policy terms and not available for all boats or in all situations. I switched to Boost Mobile and got a free Samsung Galaxy A23 5G phone. Want to know the best part? Uh, it was free? Nope. The fact that it's on America's largest 5G networks? Nope. It's the ding. Oh, yeah. Love the ding. Right? It's all about the ding. It's the dingarooski, the dingarona, the ring-a-ding-ding. Unleash your power to save with Boost. Get a free Samsung Galaxy A23 5G phone when you switch. Boost Mobile. Unleash your power. And the ding. Limited time offer. New customers only. Available on select networks. 5G not available everywhere. One device per line. Tax excluded. Additional restrictions apply. See your local Boost Mobile store for details. We're recording this progressive commercial on a real boat to let people know that when you bundle your home, boat, and other vehicles... What was that, Flo? Progressive saves you money, Jamie. Why are we doing this on a boat? We were going for authenticity. We're going to the city? Authenticity. You mean Atlantic City? But we're not in the Atlantic. Are we? Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Discount not available in all states or situations. At the Home Depot, we take Father's Day seriously. Why not get doing and give dad a gift card that gets him out of the house and into new projects? Because the dads who do the most deserve the most. Whether he's into woodworking, yard work, or grilling up something for the family. A Home Depot gift card gives your dad the power to get everything he needs to keep doing the most. Shop today for a gift that powers dad. At the Home Depot, how doers get more done. Theaters now. That's how it sounded on ESPN as Brandon Nemo hit a game-ending double off the wall in right center. I thought that ball was Say it with your chest. Okay. In the 10th inning, giving the Mets a 4-3 win. So it's now 1-1 in the Subway Series. Don't Boy, those, so elated. Those games, the games so far have been, they've both been one-run games. They've both been sloppy yes. and dramatic. That's typical Yankees Mets, except the Yankees and Red Sox. Too. Clint Frazier singled in the go-ahead run in the eighth inning as the White Sox, Chicago White Sox, beat the Los Angeles Dodgers 8-4. to four. And the Oakland Athletics cleared a major hurdle for their planned relocation to Las Vegas after the Nevada legislature gave final approval on Wednesday to public funding for a portion of a proposed $1.5 
billion dollar stadium with a retractable roof. Want to know why there's a line out the door for franchises and MLB and the NBA and the NFL? What a deal. You get taxpayers to foot the bill on new stadiums and stuff. You get to privatize all that money. Sports Center is presented by Progressive Insurance. Protect your family, your phone, your and your furry friends with life, electronic device, and pet health insurance. I don't know exactly what the right thing to say is about Zion. The Pelicans, if they want to move way up in the draft, you're looking at potentially making Zion Williamson available. And that would be a fascinating decision. Mm. But if the Pelicans are serious about moving up, I think it must be something that they're considering. There's going to be a GM or an owner out there that says, you know what, we can fix them. We would love to have them. The ends are not justifying the means. And if I can turn this into someone else's problem, I do it. Through the pencil and leak on the sheet of the tablet in my mind, cause I don't write, cause I ain't got to. Sean, Jay, Will, and Max were presented by Progressive Insurance. Of course, you can hear us on ESPN Radio, also Sirius XM Channel 80 and the ESPN app. Click more on the lower right hand corner of the app, scroll down to live radio, find us right there. All right, so we're talking about Bradley Deal, who is one of the hot names. On in this off season, in terms of the fact that he might be moved and the price might be lower than you would expect based on his no trade clause, which you know depresses the number of teams, number of buyers, so the price goes down on the trade market plus his large contract. Just go ahead and give that well, man a four point five star. I I, I think just, he, just I, I, I think he, I think that's fair. I think he's a five star player, an MVP, four is an all star. I think if yeah. you could say he's a perennial all star, then he's a little more than four. It's not just like he makes an all star team okay. here and there. I'm glad we're we're talking. So you, you finally up. talked him into. Yeah. No, I, I said he's, it took some time, Q, but I, I got him. I said four then. five. You guys were higher than that. I think four five. I think four five is generous, but okay. Four five, four six, four seven. What's the difference? Four, Four, two, four, three, four, four, something like that. All right. Now you're negotiating. Should the pay, well, you know what? Let's end on four, five. Hey, Almost said something. We all got fired. No. no, no. <laughs> so, so the other, uh, the other big name is an even bigger name, really. So if we're talking about just names, is Zion Williamson. Should the Pelicans consider trading him? They want Scoot, right? Like, do they? What do they want here? Brian Windhorst. He, what do you give me a look for? I'm. Go ahead. Man. Brian Windhorst, ESPN NBA insider, was on Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max yesterday, and this is what he had to say. There's been some feel out there that the Pelicans want to move up in this draft. They have the 14th pick right now, and that they may want to move up in this draft. And I, I think it would be premature to say that they've made any offers of players. I don't want to go that far. But obviously, you don't have to be a next-level genius to realize that if they want to move way up in the draft, you're looking at potentially making Zion Williamson available. That would be a fascinating decision. Mm. But if the Pelicans are serious about moving up, I think it must be something that they're considering. All right, boy. So I I talk to a lot of people. (laughs) Um, And people in very interesting positions Mm. surrounding this particular situation. Mm. What I heard the other day didn't really surprise me, but I, I, I heard that Zion Williamson loves basketball, but some people aren't sure that Zion Williamson loves all the work to put into basketball to be the best version of himself. Think conditioning, think working out, things of that sort. With that being said, now, if he comes in out of weight again and he does not want to be part of New Orleans, then fine. If that's what Zion Williamson, if he does not want to be there, then you put his name in this trade. If he is telling you that, but if he is not, I truly believe that David Griffin has to do what they did with Joel Embiid. You have to sit it out and wait. You have to keep him. The reality is that Zion has played 114 games in four seasons. Not good. Understood. CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram, and Zion Williamson have played a total of 10 games together. Let's not forget where this team was last season. Even they were just number saying two those in names. the West. Even just saying those names, that's a lot of talent. They were number two in the West. They were number one at one time when they all played together. Now, I know health is something that scares people with Zion. But he is a generational talent. I love Scoot Henderson. He is one of my favorite prospects in the draft. I don't think Scoot Henderson's high side is anywhere close to what Zion Williamson's ceiling is. So I think with Zion, with CJ, and with Brandon Ingram, 
I don't know how you don't run that back with the potential of what that trio can be. You know, for me, Jay, I'm, uh, you know how I am. I'm a what if guy. And in the end, the, the injury bug and the missing of the time scares the living you know what's out yes. of Yes. Um, on both sides. If I'm with the Pelicans, I don't know what I'm getting. I don't know where he, if he's available. And if I'm somebody trying to acquire him, and what am I giving up to get a guy that may or may not be there? That's that's a tough call. Now, we at the Pelicans, we gave him a deal tied to some stuff. And you mentioned if he came in out of shape, overweight, whatever the case may be, is he going to come in and do all the right things for us to keep him? Is he going to convince us this offseason or this summer that he's a guy who's willing to do all the little things to not only make himself better, but make us better? Or does he like just having the logo? Because there's a lot of guys in leagues, baseball, football, basketball, I'm sure hockey and other leagues, they like the logo. It's something about having a logo and don't really care about putting in the work to become ultra successful because you think your name has gotten you already that success. So you say to yourself, well, I don't have to do anything else. But what happens is you cheat the system and you cheat your teammates. So am I willing as a front office executive willing to put up with that from Zion, whether it's the Pelicans or somebody else? Yeah, I mean, if you yeah. look at Zion Williamson, whatever else you think, I hear every single thing you're saying, Key, that is legit. And that's the real question with him, other than the health. And then the health is probably related to what you're talking about, too. If you take good care of yourself, you're less, you know, it, it, he has not taken the best care of himself, it doesn't appear. And he's also been injured a lot. So, you know, you can link that in your own mind, right? He's played 114 professional games in the NBA, the regular season. His averages are like, he's averaging over Stupid. 25 points a game three and a half assists, seven boards, almost a steal a game. If you look at his numbers, he's already at the age of 22. He's already a half step below MVP level uh, uh, offensive production. At the age of 22, he is a lot. But what Keith brings up, Jay, about that thing that turns you from a guy who puts up big numbers to a championship type player is a real thing. So, so Key, you and I have both been through this. Like, obviously went through a changing situation. But, like, you know, think about number one and number two in this draft. And we always say, you know, Jaws, what you say, he's 22? 22. 22. 22 years old. Uh, Zion Williams is 22 years old. Ja Morant's 23 oh, said, years Zion's old. Zion's 22, excuse Zion me. Zion Williams is 22 years old. Ja Morant's mm -hmm. 23 years old. They're young. They're both 22 and 23 years young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially in this league. Mm -hmm. So, you're looking at two generational talents that both not to get into people's personal stuff because i don't go there but there have been a lot of decision decisions that have been made where you're saying okay look look young fella we need to recalibrate and rethink about this next phase phase two of our career if you're lucky enough in this league key you know this you can have multiple phases of your career but phase two has to be very different we have to learn from phase well, one because some decisions we made off the court, you have to own, have accountability, but we need to address those and we need to handle that. Yeah. Grown man status to go into phase two. Question but, but about here, that, here's Key. What I say. Well, you you want to ask me a question? I want to ask you a question about that. What you said earlier and then what Jay just said. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed examples of players who come in the first several yeah. years? I was yeah. absolutely oh. about to say, I was literally, <laughs> so you either figure out how to read my brain mm -hmm. or something because I was getting ready to follow up with Jay. I was about to say to you, Jay. I'm just glad you found your brain this morning. Yeah, because I couldn't think earlier. <laughs> um, Jay is absolutely right. But when you look at it from an example standpoint, the job situations can be fixed. Those are easier to fix to me than the Zion situation. And the reason I say that, Jay, is because they're different. One likes to eat beignets in the middle of the night. And another guy likes to have fun. The having fun part, you can put people around him and calm that down. You can change that with young guys. We've seen that. But guys that consistently are hurt and out of shape and questions about whether they love it, that really never changes because that's who they've always been and that's typically who they're going to continue to be. I mean, there's countless examples of 
guys that are out of shape, guys that don't do all the right things. But from the Zion, I mean, from a John standpoint, there's been guys that have had some troubles along the way and fixed it because they cleared out the circle of people. So, yeah, there's examples yeah. of it for sure. But, Kia, I, I, I'm, we'll talk about it when we come back from break because I want to tell people very quickly where New Orleans went wrong with how they handled the Zion Williamson situation. We got to get into that. We got to play real or not real. We have a full slate. Lots of things to do. Thankfully, we have another three brain. plus hours of show to do it. KJM. Greeny. The fact that one of the central pieces feels so much bitterness toward it, it is tragic to me. Makes me feel terribly sad for him. Weekday mornings at 10 Eastern on ESPN Radio. More Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max next. At Centerpoint Energy, we're giving you more power line safety information. On a construction site, it's my job to keep myself and my crew safe. So I have a 10-foot rule. To avoid injury, keep yourself and your equipment at least 10 feet away from power lines. Not some of the time, all of the time. So whether we're working on scaffolding, operating equipment, or just moving a ladder, nobody breaks the 10-foot rule. Centerpoint Energy reminds you to steer clear when power lines or electric equipment is near. Centerpoint Energy. Sandy Sensing's used car buying center is open and ready to pay you top dollar for your car, truck, or SUV. No hassle, no haggle. We're ready today to buy your car. That's cash in your hand. The used car buying center is conveniently located at the Sandy Sensing Chevrolet Complex in Car City. Or visit sandysensing.com slash sell it. That's sandysensing.com slash sell dash it. If you're ready to sell your car, truck, or SUV, we're ready to pay you today. The used car buying center is now open and ready to pay you today. Summer means camping, kayaking, paddle boarding, or beach cruising on a bike. But who has all that gear? Well, you do. The Bayview Outdoor Pursuit Center has rental gear for your next outdoor adventure. Camping with friends? They have you covered with rental tents, sleeping bags, stoves, backpacks, hammocks, and more. Or get on the water by renting a single or double kayak, paddleboard, even beach cruiser bikes. The Bayview Outdoor Pursuit Center is at East Lloyd Street at Bayview Park in Pensacola. No gear, no problem. Learn more at PlayPensacola.com. Oh, I cracked the hull of my new ski boat today. Oh, my gosh, why'd you do that? It's not like I was trying to do it, you know. Sorry, that's rough. My bad, bro. Did anyone witness this epic fail? Yes, this video's galore, and now I'm a meme. Accidents don't just happen in sea shanties, so Progressive Boat Insurance has you covered. Take as little as four minutes to see what you can save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates covered subject to policy terms and not available for all boats or in all situations. We're an Instacart family. Oh my goodness, we saved so much time with same-day grocery delivery. So we joined Instacart Plus. And now we're saving more money. We get unlimited free delivery on orders over $35. 5% credit back on pickup. And a family account. So we can shop together in a shared cart and get everything we need. Like toilet like paper. Like ice cream. <laughs> Join Instacart Plus for family accounts, unlimited free delivery, and 5% credit back on pickup. Visit instacartplus.com to get two weeks free. Credit back excludes alcohol. Family accounts subject to availability. Additional terms apply. Summer means camping, kayaking, paddle boarding, or beach cruising on a bike. But who has all that gear? Well, you do. The Bayview Outdoor Pursuit Center has rental gear for your next outdoor adventure. Camping with friends? They have you covered with rental tents, sleeping bags, stoves, backpacks, hammocks, and more. Or get on the water by renting a single or double kayak, paddleboard, even beach cruiser bikes. The Bayview Outdoor Pursuit Center is at East Lloyd Street at Bayview Park in Pensacola. No gear, no problem. Learn more at playpensacola.com. The Pelicans, if they want to move way up in the draft, you're looking at potentially making Zion Williamson available. This is going to be a GM that says, you know what, we can fix them. We would love to have it. If I can turn this into someone else's problem, I'd do it. All right, let's finish this Zion thing quickly, or at least we'll, we'll conclude that thought you had, Jay. We were talk- he was talking about how you need to fix certain things with Zion uh, in terms of the motivation and that kind of the internal stuff, right? Whether or not he puts up numbers, and I and 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 the question now is: Are there examples, you know, in basketball of guys 
who do that, or is that the exception to the rule? Usually, if that's that guy in the beginning, it continues that way. And you were about to address well, this. Well, I think Zion can lose the weight. He just has to be committed to the process. Like, he truly, I've seen people lose weight before. If they, I mean, we've all had friends that have lost weight if they're committed to the process. <clears throat> so that's number one. I also think, though, the way that media hype around, yes, you yourself, Max, Yay! have lost a lot of weight. <clears throat> By the way, you've been having your, your cereal every yes, morning. Protein you've been cereal. very dedicated. Yeah. You have not been indulging with get me the, and Seamless every no, single morning. No, get on the elliptical every day. I'm yeah. proud of you. Thank yeah, you. no, he, he, he certainly, Jay, you're right. He can lose the weight. The problem is, will he be dedicated enough to lose it? We've been talking about this issue since he was at Duke. Too. Yeah, right. right. That's well, the question. Well, maintaining wait. it, though. Like, he's wait. lost weight. There's times he's looked chiseled. Yeah. So, yeah. Jay, that's the point. What he was addressing is the internal stuff. And my question is, have you noticed examples, or is it few and far between? Well, wait, can I, can I just finish my quick yes. point, though, yeah, go, on, go, on go, the go, back sorry, end? Sorry. And then I can answer your question for sure. The, the hype around Zion when he came out of Duke, the problem is when you go to a small market team that doesn't have a guy like CJ, which is the reason why they actually brought CJ in, Everything revolved around Zion. Everybody catered to Zion. It set the wrong precedent, right? There wasn't a culture established that Zion went into and said, oh, like, this is the way it works. Like, here's the pecking order. I potentially could get, I could get what I want, but, like, it's not me over everybody. And I think that was one of the problems for David Griffin and company when it first happened. Zion got a chance to get away with all this type of behavior. Like, not showing up to training camp, like being under a certain weight and all. Well, they'll just acquiesce because you're Zion and everything's centered around you. And now they're trying to change around how that actually works, which is in the best interest of the franchise when you think about it long term. It needs to be, here's our culture. Here's how it's set. Abide by these rules, right? Nobody supersedes these rules. You may have more leniency because you are a star, but you have to earn it first. And have you noticed, I understand that perfectly, well put, have you noticed that ever working or often working with someone around who there are questions that Key has brought up, really saying internal motivation questions? Do guys like that actually become championship players eventually, sometimes at least? Because if the answer is no to that question, what's the point in wasting your time, right? But if you think, no, no, I can find examples of guys who have who have done that over time, they've matured and become championship players, then the juice might be worth the squeeze because he's very talented. So I don't know the answer to that question off the top of my head, tell you the I truth. I mean, I feel like the behavior pattern is already set with certain guys in those situations, and it's very hard to change. Yes, he can lose weight, and he can get in shape, and he can be chiseled and all those things. But the moment that he gets a break, now what are we dealing with? Are we dealing with, I'm eating bad. I'm not taking care of my body. I, I don't like going into training as much as I used to. Uh, I want to do these same things that I've always done because that is where my comfort level is. And as an organization, you have to make a decision if that's what you want to deal with. And, and look, Jay said that the culture was different, right? Well, what is he used to? He's used to a different culture. You're trying to now recalibrate somebody's thought process and turn it when they've already been stuck in one situation for so damn long. Now you're saying you got to change. You got to change. That's very hard and difficult to do. I don't care who you are. All right, let's play uh, real or not real. It's Betting true. favorites to land notable players. Nuno. 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 Right. Yates, uh, before we go further, we asked Chad GPT where Zion will land, and this is the answer. Next NBA season, the team that Zion Williamson will play for is the Charlotte Hornets. We'll take that Ooh. for what you want. I mean, what? Jordan did sign him to the Jordan deal. Jordan brings him back home, too, and then sells the team. That sounds about right. All right, so the first guy we're going to start with is LeBron James. Real or not real that the Mavs, are the favorites to land LeBron if he leaves the Lakers? Key, we'll start with you. Oh, if he leaves the Lakers, Key, you'll be sick. <laughs> not, not real. When is he leaving the Lakers? He's under contract. We're, we're not trading. The question is, if he was to leave the Lakers, don't get, don't get sensitive. No, don't, don't, max sensitive. don't max this. Just no, answer no, the I, question. I, I just said he's not leaving the Lakers. He's under contract. So <laughs> let's, you know, he's, he's not following. Contract. He's not following Kyrie. So he, the, the Mavs would not be the favorites. You're saying not real. They wouldn't be the favorites not, to land him real. were he to leave. 
Jay? I don't, I don't, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think it would be Dallas. I, I don't. Agree. I don't think it's real. I, I don't know leaving. who it is. I don't know who would be the favorites to land him because uh, somebody have to make a, a a ploy towards his son. Somebody had to like really get him to buy into. I'll tell you the favorite, <laughs> the Las Vegas franchise is not established right. yet. Yeah, there you go. go. All right, all right. Next, the Las one. Vegas uh, Athletics. Go ahead. Next one. Go play baseball. Damian Lillard, real or not real, that the Heat are the the favorites to land. Damian Lillard, if he leaves the Trailblazers. Key, I'll start with you again. Real. I, I think it's real. Every single year, Pat Riley and company, they try to cast a wide net to find a superstar player that's not happy in his situation or that they can just pry away because a team is rebuilding or whatever the case is. And I think this, as we continue to go, Jay, it catches steam. So, you know, the thought process, you know how it is, Jay. Once you start hearing, you start thinking like Dame is thinking. Hmm, how would I fit in there? They do need me, huh? Oh, it's Miami, it's taxes, oh, all, all that. So, yeah, I think it's real. Not real. I think Brooklyn would probably be the favorite to land Dame because all their assets, and I think they would throw a lot more assets than the Miami Heat would be willing to do in order to land a guy like Dame to have him next to Mikel Bridges. They have all those wings. They have all those draft picks that they've accumulated selling off Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and James Harden. I think it's real because if Damian Lillard says, I don't want to go there, then he won't go there. And and he's already stated his preference is Miami. And at this point, his number two preference was who? I was Brooklyn. But you but if you're gonna move, you gotta go for that championship. And that's right. that's Miami. I mean, I'm being selfish. Let's be honest. I'm yeah. being selfish. I'm recruiting right. for myself. All right. We asked the real expert where Dame Lillard's uh, next landing spot was, and this is what we were told. Next NBA season, the team that Damian Lillard will play for is the Portland Trailblazers. Yeah, that's probably about right. All right. Uh last one. Uh James Harden, real or not? Actually, you know what? I'm going to skip that one. Kyrie Irvin, real or not real that the landing spot that he will end up as the Lakers if he doesn't re-sign with the Mavs? Key? Not real. Uh, not real. I don't think that it's in the cards for the Lakers right now. And they feel like that they got enough based on, you know, what they what they had going into the Western Conference Final that they got enough. And they if they could add one or two, solid pieces, then they're going to stand pat. Yeah, I, I, not real. I don't see him with the Lakers. I, I just see Kyrie Irving staying right there in Dallas. Agreed. But if he were to leave, I would say real because he, all he has to do is price himself under someone like, say, Van Vliet. And why would you not take Kyrie Irving? If that's what he wants. Wait, can we ask chat to GBT real quick? Real quick. Next NBA season, the team that Kyrie Irving will play for is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Keyshawn J. Willemax. Meet Joe A, Hi. Joe B, Hello. and Joe C. What's up? Three everyday Joes perfecting their banking with Chase. Joe A is locking his lost debit card with the Chase mobile app. Joe B is cruising toward his new ride with Autosave. And Joe C's Chase banker is helping him budget to go back to school. Tools that help protect. Support for what's next. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase. Make more of what's yours. Chase Mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Messaging and data rates may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Here at Total Wine & More, our amazing selection means you'll always love what you find. Dad, what are you doing here? Just getting a sneak peek at my Father's Day gifts. Well, I was thinking of getting you this Barrel Select bourbon. That's a really nice bottle. And Total Wine has it at the totally lowest price. Wow, you always were my favorite. Thanks, Dad. Talking to the bourbon, sweetie. Find what you love, love what you find. Like the perfect gift for Dad at the perfect price. Only at Total Wine & More. And drink responsibly. B21. What's up? It's a Target Trend Alert. New Swim has just arrived and it's sunny weather approved. If you're into bikinis or one pieces, high waists or cutouts, they're the perfect combo of trendy, flattering and affordable. Mm -hmm, that's right. And there are so many cool styles with gorgeous details. These suits have macrame, crochet, wood beads, pretty shells and more. Totally a luxe for less vibe. Yes. Yeah, so dive in and shop this Target Trend without the spend. Thursday on Fitz and Harry. I'm going to try to get the finals MVP on if he'll ever answer my text. Wait, you have Jokic's phone number? Uh, no. Uh, uh, okay, Fitz and Harry Thursday, noon Eastern on ESPN Radio and watch on the ESPN app. Thursday on Canty and Carlin, Zion, Bradley Beal. Who's the first domino to fall in the NBA offseason? Plus, with Belichick's long-term future in question, it got us to thinking who in sports has earned the right to go out on their own terms. Thursday, Canty and Carlin, 3 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app.
June in Omaha is a celebration of college baseball. Finally ready to go. The College World Series in Omaha. From the plays that leave you in awe. Are you kidding me? To the moments that define a season. Watch all the tradition and high stakes action from Omaha. The Men's College World Series, presented by Capital One, begins Friday at 2 Eastern on ESPN and ESPN Plus. And ESPN Radio Extra Points with Chris Carlin. What is the mantra in the NFL for the player? What have you done for me lately? How good are you right now? Mm. I'm going to keep you until you're not helping me anymore. And I might, in fact, get out away from you a year before I think that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So why is it that a coach can operate that way for 25 years as Bill Belichick has in New England? And then all of a sudden, when his usefulness has run out, he's supposed to be able to leave however he wants. No, I'm sorry. I get it, how it's structured with players. But if that's the way it's going to be structured with players, if I'm an owner, I'm holding my coach to the same standard. And it's not like you haven't had a chance. I let you win the Brady battle. If you're hiring, it can feel like you're trying to find a needle in a haystack. You can hope the right person comes along. Or you can just use ZipRecruiter. And now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. In fact, ZipRecruiter has helped a lot of business owners find their needle in a haystack. Like Marco, president of operations at Telly Tires and Auto Centers. Because Telly Tires has grown a lot in the last few years, Marco needed to hire everyone from a receptionist to a store manager to a head mechanic. ZipRecruiter helps me find all the right people, even the most difficult jobs to fill. ZipRecruiter helps me keep my business running. Take it from Marco and millions of other businesses who've used ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter can help you find the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash F-R-E-E. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Welcome to Game 5 of the NBA Finals. Every real hooper wants to be on the stage and be in this moment. Water drive between the legs, How did he get that to go in? We just showed what we're capable of on the biggest stage in the world. Murray, Jumper, puts it in. Jokic drives down a lane, layup is good. Jokic is having his way, feeling it. It's a good feeling when you know that you did something that nobody believes in. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max, ESPN Radio, Sirius XM Channel 80. If you missed any of the first hour of the show, you can download the podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Good morning, guys. What up, baby? Another beautiful morning Great in New morning. York. Great time of year. Well, still low 60s up into the low 70s today. Yeah, man. Yeah, Maybe clear sky about to come man. off next week. Ooh, the draft next Thursday, huh? free agency happening. You got, got some football. Stephon Diggs seems happy now. A lot going NBA on. draft. You got some steals in the second round, like the Joker. I <laughs> like 49. one of the all-time great draft steals. <laughs> second round pick just chipped up. Finals MVP, all-time great run. What up, Key? Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi Jumper. How are you? You got your brain, Key? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm good now. Good. There you I found just it. Couldn't, I couldn't hour. think about it earlier. That's all. Because you don't drink coffee. To... No, it just. I couldn't, I just couldn't think Jimi Hendrix, but I could think of Seattle. You know, just, <laughs> the name just was like, it wouldn't. A lot of wouldn't. names rattling around up there, right? Yeah, since you get up every day, like, you know, I get up at three, but I mean, it's like you're getting up. What time, what time do you get up, actually? I, I usually, I, my body clock, my body, I, literally, Jay, I don't think I've used the alarm in so long, right? I mean, it's like my body clock between 1.15 and one thirty. I'll just wake up. And what's your more? What's your routine in the morning? Like, do you make? Like, I typically like make myself a coffee, and then start like reading a ton of articles. You no, know, the first thing I do is I wake up, I lean over, I look at my phone, 
And then I say, okay, it's time to get up. Right I to can't the phone. Lay, I can't lay back down. Yeah. Well, because my phone is my alarm. Yes. So oh, I, say, okay. I can't yeah. lay back down. If I lay back down, I'll be flying on the freeway at 2.30 in the morning trying to get here. So <laughs> I instantly get up, walk to my closet, see what I'm going to put on. Then I go to the bathroom, do my deal. So you don't lay out your stuff the night before? Nah. Because I'm, yeah, I'm trying to be because a ninja. I, I don't want to wake I anybody lay up. My I lay it out. out. If I, well... I won't wake anybody up based on where I go to get my clothes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he has a house inside his house. <laughs> I love that's that not he true. had to say it out loud. Yeah, <laughs> they built a like separate that. house that's inside the house for his clothes. I just said what... I got to... You know, you won't wake anybody. Here's up. the it's question, Keith. Do you have do you have his and hers <laughs> closets? And is your so I know you got your own closet, obviously, but but is there anything dividing one side of the closet <laughs> from the other side of the closet, like a table or some yeah, kind of counter it. between the two sides of the closet? Actually, at my my closet is extremely small. Hmm. Extremely. You got the short end of the stick on that. That's how Jay, you already know. But when he says extremely small, he might be like it's only a thousand square feet. No, 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 no. I don't have a big no, I literally (laughs) have an apartment sized closet. Hmm. Like literally. How did that happen? For real. It's just that's just yeah, she got the big closet, of course. Yeah. And so I do that, you know, I do my deal and so shower, whatever. Boom. I get dressed. I throw on my flip-flops are down at the bottom of the the stairs. (laughs) So I decide if I'm putting on shorts. Sweatshirt, hoodie, whatever it is. And then I open up the door. I let the dogs out the back to let them do their deal. Turn on all the backyard lights. The coyotes won't get them. Yep. And then I typically go get my keys and whatever I need off my desk in my office. By the time I do that, they're sitting back at the door ready to come back in. I uh, give them their snack because they know go outside, do your deal. You come back in, get treats. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I give them their treat. They wait for it. Boom. They go back up. I go to the garage. Bam! I'm at the Boom, studio. At the studio. Mm. Yeah, the studio. He left Typically, out the part where he woke up because the dogs are sleeping in the bed with him, licking his face away. Well, what I was gonna say when Jay said lay my clothes out, one of the things I don't do, and the reason I don't lay them out, is because I don't have a place in my room mm-hmm. to oh, yeah, put it up a- high. If I lay it on the carpet, on the rug, right, the dogs just hang will- it up on the yeah, just hang it though. Yeah, but I don't need to hang it because that, it's already hung, Jay. Uh, so I don't need closet, to go and lay it out. Yeah, but if yeah, I put yeah. it, if I put it dogs in the room and lay it, it. down yeah, on the carpet, they're gonna lay on it. Oh, I hate the dogs in the room. Well, I mean, Max, I'm married to I got one it. of y'all. So if I'm married to one of y'all, <laughs> then that's what y'all do, Max. You know that. Then stop it. I, <laughs> ain't no me. need to lie, Jay. Ain't I, no need to frown up. I, I, not I, me. That's not what no, I'm here. we I'm just tend here. to do. I'm just here. We tend to do. And it may be culturally, I ain't afraid to say it. No, you don't want we the dog in not, the bed. The dog walks all over the floor. No, I can't. With the dog in the Couches, bed. Couches, uh, bed, stay no, on the tend, ground. We tend to not allow that to happen. You right. know, growing up, we wasn't having that. Right. But when you married to somebody that has, you know, they used to doing that. But see, I can't, I can't the dog be on my couch just... It's too... It's like, too, it's stop, no, too what? No, no, stay off the furniture. Again, but see, it's too late. Habit. When 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 you already allow something to happen, we talk about Zion. Yeah. It's it's it's. it's you should have put your foot down, Key. You should have fought. That's I, a fight you should have fought. Yeah, you have no idea how hard. You have no idea. Sometimes you fight and lose, right? So you just live to fight another day. Yeah, you got to pick your fights. Oh, the worst thing: couch in the bed, Jay. Oh, oh, yeah. couch in the bed, and then coming in my office, in my table, you know, my desk, coming underneath my desk and sitting where I can't put my feet. Yeah, you know, I'm like, dude. Get move. Yeah, my, my but, wife has yeah. a habit of just literally, she does not care. She will interrupt. If I'm on the phone, she going to talk to me. You know, right. Keith, like when you're on the call, she's oh like, my well, God. Jay, I'm like, you, you see me, you try, you see me Jay, on the phone. Literally, you, if you what? tried to do that to her. Oh, oh no. I, she, she just ignores all me. Like, all I'm the not, faces I, I, and the, 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 all, you come on, Jay. <laughs> Man, you know, Max, you know, too. That's just how it's unbelievable. How, it how about it's taking crazy. the phone out of your hand? You're talking to a friend. It might be a mutual friend right out of your. What 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 just happened? Oh, no, this one here though, because yeah. I tend to put the earpiece yeah. in. Jack. Let me, Hold up. Give let me, me that. in, Max. He just takes the yeah. phone out. You of might have it on speak or say yeah, hello, you, whatever, you, and then you, all of a sudden it's a conversation. I'm like, come boundaries. on, man. You gotta say this is no, my damn phone. You ain't taking my phone out of my hand. When I have the earpiece in, I'm. You see me on. You see me. Don't you see me talking? Yeah. It's not that important. It can wait. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know it was a call. You knew. You know what's great when you see these guys on myself. Zoom? Oh, I lost my mind now. Huh? You see these people on Zoom doing TV hits and like the little kid runs in the 
right? You see that it's on social media, especially during the pandemic. There'd be someone in like, you know, suit and tie, the whole thing. They're doing some hit on some, uh, <laughs> on some important news you know, item. Like and that. all of a sudden, the little kid runs in with a tricycle or something. Like, Max, I'd like, you... to, I'd like for you to throw that question out to the listeners. Yes. Our, our yeah. strong fan base. Sure. Should dogs be allowed in your damn bed? Yeah, 888 say ESPN. Dogs in the bed or on the furniture, but yeah, the no. bed is a whole other thing. No. Yeah. How about this move? Well, yes. they can stay under the bed. Yeah, until the morning. As soon as you get out of the bed, they try and jump up on the bed. But then the dog's trying to clean themselves no, on no, the bed. No, no, no. I, 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 come on, Jay. I can't. I can't I, no, I, I'm not I trying to lay my body on where you just clean right. yourself. Jay, I could go on and on and on. And the interesting thing about the two teddies is that they know not to go on my side of the bed. They already know. <laughs> Smart as hell. They know whatever we do, don't go on this side of the bed. But when I'm not home oh, or they, something, they just occupy. Yeah, like, see, yeah, nope. yeah, see. And they That's don't general. they don't hear they don't hear the door chime and I come upstairs. Them they, if, man, you don't even understand, Jay. I, now you gotta change the sheets. <laughs> yeah, I'm now. just trying to tell you I've Peter coming for me. <laughs> I've trying to tell you, I've left past relationships because I can't do it. Good man. It, it's been it's been a relationship good, good deal man. breaker for That's me right. back in the day. I'm like, By the way, even this, if this, someone no, we've talked about this, but if someone has their outside clothes and sits on your bed, now yeah. if it's on if it's on a comforter or a cover and it's at the foot of the Still bed, not acceptable. okay, but you Don't can't like sit where I put my head or my butt. Come on, man. And especially if the covers are pulled back on the sheets, and that's a human being with with clothing on. A dog? It's been, especially my, my, in New York I, I City, to, they've been uh, all over the street. Yeah, 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 but not New York City. I can't, no, no. no. My dogs, when we were in New York, they stayed inside and we had shoes on them when they went outside. It was, yeah. Yeah, you put the but, dog shoes on. I've seen those. See yeah. the little doggy yeah. booty shoes on. Yeah. Dogs, you walk yeah, like this. You know, when they raise up their knees when they yeah. walk like this. Yeah, marching. I just, it, the whole dog thing at the crib is just, I can't. I try, I've convinced myself I have clean dogs because. I've convinced myself. Yeah, right. You got to just, yeah. Man. So I, listen, uh. You know, we, we're going to get to this in a, in a little bit. What I wanted to talk about, but now people really want to talk about the dogs on the furniture. But <laughs> but at some point, we need to talk about, you know, the Nuggets, will, first Max. time in their history, 47 years in the league, they won a championship. Yeah, we will. So what's Sorry. the biggest drought? Like, what's the most downtrodden franchise across sports? I got a definite answer for that, but That's there are a easy. bunch of candidates. It could be the, the Maple Leafs. Last, uh, the, the last title they won was 66-67. San Diego Padres, it's 53 years, baseball, right? Like different sports, different franchises. I have one in mind in the NFL. It's probably not hard to guess which one it is, but Rome in Chicago, you're on KJM. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, Rome? Good morning, guys. Good morning, What's morning. up, baby? Nothing, man. About this dog. I, dogs sit there and lick themselves See, to clean themselves, true. fellas. There's no way the dog is getting in my bed, my couch. Or my white carpet. You got a white carpet though. White carpet. What made you Where do you that? in Miami, bro? Where? <laughs> white carpet. All white. The worst that, choice for a carpet. A white carpet. carpet. You, are you a wine drinker? What went of wine? But how do you how do you keep that clean? Keep the dog off the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Brian in North Carolina, you're on Keyshawn J. Will and Max, ESPN Radio. Good morning. Good morning. I, uh, no, dogs do not belong on the bed. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. I'm with Key. Mm-hmm. So See, far, yeah, we, Key, we, as we, to we, your we, earlier well, point, Key, so far way. there's been a certain kind of caller. Are you in that, my brain? Yeah. Like, yes. literally? Like, yeah, are yeah, you yeah. in my By the way, just so everybody at home, yeah. Key's dogs, uh, Key's dogs uh, are on his bed, though. <laughs> Key's dogs are on his bed. And you know, it's, <laughs> Key, you don't even have to tell me. It's, oh, they're not on my side of the bed. Yeah, right, until they don't know you're around. Then yeah, but yeah, they, 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 it's so, it's, it, Max, you. Wait, yeah, it's wait, like the wait, worst. This, see, this is, it's like the worst thing in his life right now on a daily a, basis. This is, key, this is a great social experiment. Yeah. Matthew in California. Go ahead, Matthew in California. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, so coming from one of the uh, less melanated brothers. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying dogs should be outside animals, period. Hmm. I don't want them coming inside, especially if people got carpet and the hairs on the carpet. That's just nasty. Well, it's not I can't, a, what do, you I can't do can't, dogs it's inside. It's not a wild dog. It's a, what is no, it? it's no, a, no, I have multi pools. They're not wild dogs. It's, it's not, not a hyena. Yeah, not I mean, you know what? You can't come in the house. rained on in a dog house no, outside. Dog, I can't no, 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 I can't put the dog outside. No, you got to let the dog in the house sometimes. Let him get some heat, man. That's why I don't have a dog. I don't want it in the house. All right. 
Earl in Houston. You're on KJM. So good, good morning, Keith. Good morning, um, Will, Max. My my sister was in the bed right now, dog. Like, really. I mean, what? Earl, Earl, yeah. little dog. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a sister, I, and I have a pit bull, so I call my sister my pit shoe. And you have, wait. Hold on, hold wait, on. It's wait, mixed wait, with Earl, a pit? Earl, or so you much... also got a pit? No, he has both. I, Does the pit get a in the bed? Shih and a pit bull. Hey, look, the pit gets, I have a bench at the end of the bed. So the right. pit, Stand me and my bench. wife, we're like average tall. We're six feet plus. So the pit gets up on the edge of the bench. So we kind of like give him the foot tap dance to kick him off. Mm-hmm. And so he gets down. But the shih tzu, she has her way and she just devises when things are not right in the bedroom, she divides the bed up. Earl. See? Earl. Yeah, but I mean, so in, 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 in any case... I, honestly, I don't think dogs bed. should be in your bedroom. Tell Earl, you the truth. Earl, not in the Earl, bedroom. I got a question for you. Like, when you let, yeah, when you yeah, let yeah, the oh, shih tzu yeah, out, yeah. do you wipe the shih tzu's feet when she comes back oh, in the yeah, house? Dude. Oh, yeah, we have, we, have, we have wipes and everything. That's a lot of now, work, see, though. My wife, she, she's so big on that. She has the wipes. We even clean their butt, too. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> which downtrodden franchise will be the next team to win a championship? And is everything okay now in I Buffalo? Just, no, I just snorted. Plus, don't let the dog sleep in the bed. KJM, yes, ESPN we, Radio. We cleaned her butt. Greedy. The fact that one of the central pieces feels so much bitterness toward it, it is tragic to me. Makes me feel terribly sad for him. Weekday mornings at 10 Eastern on ESPN Radio.